Runaway Robot. Hi, uh, we're starting now. Uh, sorry, it took a little bit. I just got home and I was putting together uh, ability to have all of these people on at the same time. Yep, I knew it. I knew some of these would be backwards. Hell yeah. <laughs> but we'll get those fixed up. Uh, so we're going to do some character creation for the one shot that we're in on Friday. And right before this, I was mentioning to Professor here, um, apparently his character sheet is broken and doesn't want to actually <laughs> function as a normal character sheet. So I'm going to figure that out on the fly. It's That's going to be fun. It's always That's me. That's going to be fun. <laughs> um, so hopefully all of this is, is, is figured out correctly cool yeah we can see roll 20 and then i think the next one i have open is yeah stats so i guess my first question is uh who wants to go first and again these are switched let me fix it it doesn't uh, matter to me who wants to do the thing what so so dozen you you're you're pretty much got yours figured out right yeah, we're I just, just kind of like put on the papers and roll hp and stuff like that so okay so do you have a character sheet waiting right now yeah yeah okay uh, cool. So you need, you said you need to roll HP. Yeah, stuff like we can like maybe we do profs first since he's is the like. Oh, since so okay, we need to do mo most of the stuff there. Okay, the reason I was putting off profs is because uh, his character sheet doesn't want to function. So I'm a little <laughs> like, I don't oh, I don't man. know what to do about this. Maybe I'm I wonder not what happens if I just put it game. in mine. What if I just put it in mine? Let's see what happens. No, it's it's literally. I don't want to use character mancer. How do I skip cancel? Discard. Oh my god! It just wanted you to like make this thing using their weird whatever like their, their system. processor, like how to formulate. I guess I don't know. Here, let me put this I, in here. Maybe it does just generate. It's new. Oh. I, I'm kind of curious now. Hang on. Okay. Yeah, I'm kind of curious too. Because I feel like it's more streamlined to like figure out Hang character on. creation stuff. Here's my. I'm gonna just make a character sheet and put it in my thing, and I'm gonna click on some buttons and see what happens. Welcome to Character Mancer. Step by step process makes building a character simple and streamlined. Changes are saved. Your progress in your character sheet is only updated when the character mancer has been completed. So it just it forces you to click a race. Does your ability scores, alignment speed. Wow, it literally, it just, it walks you through this step by step. That's super cool. That's kind That's of cool. cool. Okay, fine. <sighs> I'm going to delete your other one. No <laughs> we're going to go through Atha. character mancer? Yeah, we're going to do it. I'm going to, we're going to try Let's this try out. It. Let's try it. We're going to try this out because it's kind of cool and I've never seen them use this before. Uh, okay, so Ryan, there you go. Uh, so we're going to use Character Mancer. You want to pop that I've bad boy like open and see what names. happens? Yeah, let's um, do this. We're using... I've never used the point pool before. Um, how does that work, anyone? What Do you have, like, a total, and then you just place them as you want to? Like, what's the what's the thing? Point by. Point by. So how do, how do you... How does? There okay. should be a thing in 5e tools that lets you do that under the stat, stat generator. On the stat generator. Mm. Well, actually, let's let's do this. Let's see if this works. So let's use character mancer. All right. So let's go to race. All right, professor. What are you? I'm a who man. You're a who man. A who man. I'm a who man. Wow, we. A who man. I'm gonna give myself that crippling, can't see in the dark shit that Rob has to deal with and die for certainly. <laughs> I'm just hoping we're just outside all the time in the sun <laughs> and just like. Hey, I'm a human whatever. too. Uh, who man? Yeah, okay, more. who mans? Who so we mans? have two who mans and two uh, half things. Half who mans. Hey, hey, man! Don't hate on the the barbarian twins. <laughs> All right, so so you <laughs> nope. you go ahead and do this. Let's see if this works for you. You can you have access to this, correct? Yes, I do. You can see this. All right, so go ahead and go go choose that race. Go choose who man. I already have chosen who man. Oh, it didn't oh. show up for me. Yeah. Okay, are you doing? I'm gonna do it on mine then. Or human variant. Human. It, it only has uh, the option of human SRD, and then it has, like, custom underneath, like, yeah. at the very bottom. Yeah, so, it only has SRD ones. Yeah. Which is fine. Uh, yeah. Okay, now it's got slots for your age, age. your alignment, so let's languages. See. How old do I want to be? How experienced of a bard do I want to be? I'm level five, so I'm, like, a real human. You're a real human. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, you know, let's go. Let's go with thirty. I'll, I'll play a thirty-year-old. You're a thirty-year-old. Okay, cool. Thirty-year-old cool. bard alignment. Uh, let's do chaotic evil. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> not, not allowed. Not, not, allowed. Uh, not okay. <laughs> let's go. I'm gonna go neutral. True neutral. Um, yeah, I think I'll do true neutral. 
Okay. It's gonna I'm be like neutral, an active neutral or good. A, an I don't give a damn neutral. It's more of a kind of I'm out for well, my. Well, remember we did bit? we did specify. Remember we did specify. Everyone, you're you're you are working for some kind of common good. You are a good person. It's like I mean, a citizen. Well, neutral. Yeah, so. But, like, so as true neutral as you can be, Tell you don't like you. kill the bad guy and then slaughter children to balance out your karma. No, like, that's yeah, not a, exactly. you don't do that. So I'm I'm if you want to be neutral, be neutral with a good bent. Yeah. About that. I'll, all, right, all right, I'll be neutral good. All right. Yeah, that's we'll that's what that's what my character is and at least be good. Cuz that, yeah. that's kind of like we we did that was something we agreed on for this. So that is fine. So run no speed, snowflakes. All right. Um, <laughs> and I can choose another language. Yeah, you get one uh, bonus language. Hmm. Fond of sprinkling their speech with words from uh, orc curses, elvish musical expressions, dwarvish military phrases, and so on. Because I kind of want my bard to be like super, like charismatic, charming, like like, sure, you know, sure. like woos women. I think I want to use elvish. Okay. Because it seems like okay. a more like, Are you think you language. think dwarvish wouldn't do that better? Come on. <laughs> it depends on the person, you know. Sure. But if I'm going uh, generic as fuck, then let's see. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sub race, I do not have one. Yeah, I think that's where you could make it the non-standard human if yeah. you wanted to use this. If you so I to be a special snowflake. Yes. If I wanted to do like, yes, the if you wanted to be a snowflake. So now we go next button. Go to class. Yeah. So I'm just. And you're gonna I'm choose gonna... your class. And we I'm already decided this. I you're did. a bardo. I am bardo. Okay. Um, all right. Now I gotta get to class because oh, there it is. It'll... This is actually kind of cool. I've never like this is brand new. I've never seen this in Roll Twenty. It's kind of awesome. It literally walks you through step by step yeah, with everything just, next to it. it. Yeah, I'm doing it through That's an app. That's so nice. I'm it's using oh, nice. the the the. the the roll 20 Which I guess is cool because then I don't need to have these 10 million tabs open anymore. <laughs> yeah. What was I that was, like, trying to look up the feats and like spell list and and like all the benefits and stuff that I would need to get. But if it does automatically, I don't need to do any of that. Yeah, man. What was that, Dusan? Yeah, I mean, I said said that I I think they rolled it out since like roll 20 con was last weekend. Oh, was it? Re oh, that's right. They had all like the special stuff they were doing, and I totally missed all of that. Hell yeah. Uh, cool. I like it. It's, whenever they add some cool stuff, I'm I'm all on board, man. Especially if it's as easy to read as this is. Um, okay, so skill proficiencies. You're a bard. Uh, yeah. What do you want to be proficient in? Uh, let's see. You're I proficient want to be with proficient in skills. Is any three for bard? I had no idea. Yeah, dude. Literally any three. Yeah, dude. Bard. Okay, That's cool. All great. I think what yeah. I want to do is I want to do obviously performance. I should be proficient in performance. Okay, cool, cool. In some some way. I think Are I'm you gonna, gonna pick entertainer then? Probably. Whoa! I'll, I'll I'm see. already entertainer. <laughs> we'll 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 see. We'll see. It's, Let me well, I'll like I said, we're a traveling band, friends. right? So we might as well all be enter like just be entertainers. Uh, and then just the you'll just make more money in social yeah. settings. You'll be like, I can I'll find any place to perform. Persuasion. Yep. At least we don't have to worry about and... getting money for them. The, uh, yeah, we housing. can always find a find a place to stay, make a bit of cash. What would be the difference between choosing persuasion or deception? Persuading someone is you're asking someone to do something. Or, deception yeah. is you're tricking someone into thinking something. I think I'm going to do deception as well. So I'm thinking I'm going to do performance, persuasion, and deception. Sure. All good for charisma. Yeah, yeah, all, all of these things crazy. are okay. Yeah, so uh, I think it works. Okay, super those are well. your weapon proficiencies, and you get three musical instrument proficiencies of your choice. Three. I'm a bard, baby. <laughs> I feel like they should have more instrument proficiency. Like, I'm gonna put mine in there. I was thinking about this uh, today when I was driving back, thinking about how we're we're gonna be a band. Obviously, I was like, dude, I want a mandolin so bad. I'm totally just gonna pick mandolin. It's that's just <laughs> it now. It's a mandolin. <laughs> they have mandolin? bagpipes on here, right? Like, why yeah. can't I have a mandolin? Right? Come on. Anyway, yeah, go, yeah. Ahead, go ahead. What, what instrument do so, you want? So you, what are, because you have an instrument, right? You, and I you do. And Rob both do. You, Rob has the drum. I know Rob that. picked drums. Uh, I picked lute, but I'm going to change it to mandolin. Okay. A lute is um, close, but a mandolin is way cooler. Are you a <laughs> harpist? Oh, yeah. 
be a little harpist. A couple of different things, I think. Uh, a sham. I love that there's a sham in here. Viol. Is viol like like viol like violin and viola? Like a viola? I, yeah. I think it. I think it is. Yeah. That's, that's what I that's what that's I've a, understood it's it to be. A smaller violin. I'm gonna it's pick a that. fiddle. A fiddle, if you will. <laughs> What's a a dulcimer? Uh, so you know, like in all the like Asian Chinese movies or whatever, the one that like they lay it across their lap and they play it with little mm. hammers. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's a dulcimer. Huh. Sounds kind of like Kubo and the Two Strings. And a sham? What's a sham? Sure, sure. Yeah. Uh, a sham is something, I think that's like a, oh my god, if I remember correctly, it's something to do with like sailing. It's like a, a sailor's instrument. That'd be really funny if I picked that too, for your sailor. A conical board, double reed woodwind instrument. Made in Europe in the 12th century to present day. <laughs> huh. uh, made popular during the medieval and renaissance periods. Uh gradually eclipsed by it's an oboe it's a fucking oboe oh it's an oboe yeah it's an oboe mm -hmm. like the original oboe double reed cool. yeah 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 that looks cool but i think i'm gonna do let's do uh da, 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 da. do a uh, hurdy gurdy <laughs> i know it's not on the list <laughs> but you guess someone's gotta pick hurdy gurdy uh, i'll do the theremin uh the, th the theremin <laughs> Yeah, obviously. Uh, I think I'm gonna hit bagpipes up because I think that'll be fun. Okay, bagpipes yeah, done. Bagpipes are, fun. bagpipes are like the party scene, you know. I'm, uh, so can, can I make a, a little bit of a suggestion? Yeah, yeah. What we got? Can, it, can you pick one of them to be the, the be the fiddle, like the viol? Because then yeah, we're a viol is my band. first one. This I is just what you should to, play. The kazoo. The kazoo. The kazoo. There you go. Uh, I just I just want you to pick that, that one so we can be a bluegrass band. Oh, I have viol. <laughs> Don't I totally have viol. That was oh, my I first one. Uh, so I have viol, bagpipes, and pan flute that I'm going with. Nice, I love it. So a nice like well-rounded like for situational music. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> cool. Cool. Sweet. All right. Uh, ritual casting bard spells can be. <clears throat> You can cast any bard spell you know as a ritual if the spell is ritual type. Duh. That's always a thing, I guess, for spellcasters. Uh, and bardic inspiration. That's super cool. So you're going to want to yeah. read that one. I don't know if you know what that is or like on a bonus. So on a bonus action. It, but it's also really big and I don't like to read. <laughs> sure. So the, the gist of it is on any one of your like your turns as a bonus action, you can be like, I'm going to give this person bardic inspiration. And you like use your words or your music to inspire one of your allies uh, and they get a D6 that they can use uh, in the next 10 minutes on any roll. They just get a D6. Uh, does that is that just like Except for damage. A, an ability or is that a... Yes, wow. you, you, yeah, so... Oh, does it cost spell slots to do that as a, as no. a bonus? No, you, uh, you get You get a it. certain amount a day. Yeah, yeah, it looks like I get to do... I guess I think it's like on my charisma modifier. Um, yes, equal it... to your charisma modifier. Minimum of a once. At fifth level, though, it goes up. It becomes a D8, D8. instead yep. of a D6. Yep. Yep. So you, we're super inspired every <laughs> yeah. time you sing to us oh, or yeah. play an instrument. Stop On the battlefield. In the background. This is why I mm -hmm. chose Bard, because I figured it'd be fun for the buff. He's going to be standing in the back, cranking his hurdy-gurdy. Yeah, and we're so just <laughs> It's gonna be great. I'm just waiting for the like Bork, Bork, he's the best. <laughs> Bork, 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 he's, Bork, the he's best. our man. If he can't do it, no one can. Yay! Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right, cool. Uh, Sounds good. I so then you have your the, the ranger joining in on that. Being <laughs> so far, I think the only lady character in the party. Yes, it's happening. Um. So then you have your leather armors of all of the other equipment that yeah. you you have. So. You get leather armor, a dagger, uh, and a rapier or longsword or simple weapon, diplomat's pack or entertainer's pack, a lute, or a, any m musical instrument. Uh, which we will that'll probably that'll all be chosen in in equipment. So let's yeah. go ahead and hit next and let's see what abilities. we do with abilities. All right, it's got to load for a sec. Ability score method. Uh, we're gonna have to choose custom here. That's pretty clear. Custom. Input your scores. Okay, so this is okay. where we do this. This is yeah, where ahead. this happens. Whoa, my phone's backwards. Okay. Oh, I can't yeah, yeah, see that at all. <laughs> Sorry, hang on. If let me you look this. in stream, though. 
Look in stream. It's the right side. So you get 27 points. So you're, 27 you're points. You start at 8. All right. Anyone after 13 uses 2. Oh, my God. That's so specific. Up is to it, a is... maximum of 15 each. Does it okay. just go up to 3 at some point also if you really start? Yes, I think so. Hang on. It goes up to so 3? It's like from 15 to 16 is 3 points. Uh, okay. No, you can only do up to 15. 15 is the max. You can't go over 15? No. Why? Uh, that's just how point buy is. Uh, like, huh. if you want to go over, you can use your racial bonus or oh, your class bonus to do that. Ah, uh, yeah. I, okay. I mean, I got it. That's interesting. Yeah, from, so, like, so I mean, yeah, I've never, I've never heard that. My how racial does when I did that. Hit points. Hit die. Huh, cool. Okay, so you have, you start at eight. Everything starts at eight, Professor. Okay, everything starts okay, so at good. eight. Okay, so good. Everything's yep. at eight. Cool. Yeah. I'll I'll start off with that. Cool. Yep, yep. I'll and tell then... you how many points you have left as you go. How about that? You just tell me what to plug them in. <laughs> yeah, I'll 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 try to figure it out because it's so we start out with eight and then and that's a, just and that's just our base total and then we get X amount of points to fill in. You have twenty seven points. Yep. Twenty seven no points way. after but you the said. Eight. Yes, but then you said after, what was the number? It goes up to two per? After, after 13, it goes up to two points per point. Per add? Okay. okay. Yeah. So okay. let me do, let me actually, I can pull up my calc. So we have 27, right? So 27. Mm -hmm. It's all that uh, the character mounts, it doesn't have that option. Sorry, I'm trying to find the bard page here. Okay. Mm, bard, bard, bard. Where's bard, the bard? Bard, bard, bard is the bard. <laughs> <laughs> So no, nope. get out! <laughs> We're done. Get out. All right. We're done. I'm and he's out. Up my charisma to 13, so that leaves me at 22. Okay, so you went charisma. up to 13. My charisma gonna be the best. Um, okay. Yes. Um. So if you look here in create a bard. Uh, in create a bard. Create a bard. Oh, create a bard. Create a bard. Where is the quick thing? Quick build. So, your highest, your first thing should be charisma. Charisma. Perfect. And then your second uh, highest ability score should be dexterity. Okay. And it suggests taking the entertainer background. Mm hmm And it suggests dancing lights, vicious mockery for cantrips. And then first level, it recommends charm person, detect magic, healing word, and thunder wave in the quick build. Let's get through the scores first, then we'll talk yeah, spells. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I think what I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna do 13. So after after it's 13, it costs two extra points to get to the higher two. Yep. Right, and you can so only then, have up to 15. Yeah, and I can go up to 15. So if I wanted to have 15 you charisma. You spend four more. Yeah, and I so recommend you put at least one. The, oh wait, or you go the normal human or the variant. Yeah, he's normal yeah, human. Ah, so you'll human. automatically get the plus one to it. Anyway. To everything. Yeah, you get plus yep. one to everything. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Dope. Um, so I yeah. would probably, if I were you, I would put dexterity to 15 right off the hop and then see how many more points I have. Yeah, because I kind of want to put sorry, charisma. charisma. Yeah. Charisma. That's what mm -hmm. I was going to do. I think I'm going to put charisma right up to the top. So that's that's then leaves me with uh so 27 minus 9 so that leaves me with what 18, 18 points 18 points yeah dexterity is good too since you're probably going to be at the back using ranged yeah i was planning on probably going crossbow stuff in the in the background um just because it'd be easier shoot any of us in the back oh yeah no i i, I won't try <laughs> <laughs> unless you're an asshole to me but <laughs> all right so are you gonna go you what are you gonna do with dex what do you uh, say i think i'm gonna hit 13 on it. Okay. So just minus another 13? five. Yeah. So go to 13. So that leaves me with 13 left. Um, yep. What do I have? Uh, I don't really need strength. I don't plan on having strength. Um, I kind of want to be smart. Okay. 
minus an RT. <laughs> so I think, because I think that'll be fun, and I think so smart. Uh, smart. So, so I think mm -hmm. having, let's see, if I put three, that gives me eleven, and that leaves me. With 10. Are you sure you don't want to raise up your constitution? So you don't die immediately. Yeah. <laughs> so you're not so <laughs> squishy. At least that is very have true. Pin, so you didn't, that is also very very true. Yeah, that that's probably a good idea. So, five. Hold on, let me just see. If I do another five, should should he go ahead and put plus one into all of these already, just so we know what they look like? Like his starting is technically nine. Or will it do it automatically because it knows that I'm human? It, it will do it automatically. It should. So I wouldn't put them in there. Okay. Sure. Sure. Yeah. Sure. 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 This is a this is a character setup like that. It's doing on its own now. So I would imagine we'll, we'll have to pay attention to it. I don't know if it if it. Yeah. Will. Yeah. I'll we'll take a look. I, I, I just think it would be because like. Role Hopefully. Usually we'll has see. that kind of stuff. Handled. Yeah. So. Yeah. Actually, you know what? This is perfect. This is perfect. So then I'm gonna go for another. Uh, Put another five into constitution and then actually give myself 13 con okay which will leave me with eight remaining i'm gonna be the squishiest one in the party god damn it and Heck i'm gonna yeah. give myself and, I, and i'm a blade warlock i'm in the melee i'm gonna be screwed i'm going like zero strength here because i'm not a strong boy at all uh so I'm zero gonna go i'm gonna take points away <laughs> no, 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 I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go i'm gonna go with i'm gonna go with that eight base but like i think i'm gonna go with the rest into intelligence and wisdom okay okay so how much is is remaining there so that would be eight i have eight so an extra four so i'd leave me at a, a, a 12 i think for each okay uh, so you're gonna do 12 for each of, of wisdom and intelligence yes and, and that then... leaves okay. me at zero mm -hmm. and I okay think that's it and then he should that's get the quote-unquote plus one. Yeah, we should for see a plus all one. of these. Yeah. At yeah. some point. Okay, cool. It might not show um, until like later. Okay. Or you put them at eleven. Let the uh, racial put it. No wait there. And give you an extra two points. You can bump something up. Mhm. Mm so now my background. Although I think the. Yeah, it did bump everything up because uh, dexterity's at fourteen now on my screen. Strength's at nine instead of eight. Uh, when you hit next, really? When I hit next, I'm on background right now, and everything up oh. at top is is up by one. See, I'm following along with you. I do like doing the exact same thing, and it didn't hmm. go. Yeah. Weird. Um. Yeah, it did yeah, not go I'm, up. I'm seeing, I because I'm seeing sixteen charisma where I had fifteen before. Yeah, which is correct. With the plus to, one. With the plus one. Uh, oh, on your sub race, if you you have to select standard human SRD rather than nothing. Gotcha. Yes. It, it, it went. Okay. Cool. Uh, I guess I have either Acolloy or Custom as my my two options in That's, background. Yeah. Why is it so limited in backgrounds? That's interesting. Okay, well, we can do what this straight do from custom? the book, so that's... Yeah, what if this is custom? What happens if I do custom? It doesn't custom just lets you do it. Yeah, you just oh. make it. Yeah. Okay. okay, so this is where we need to go to the book. That's so weird that it only has one... Yeah, that's very weird. One Unless, thing? Uh, class something, specific? Something licensing issue. You need to buy the books or something to get the... Enroll, to get the actual backgrounds. Or... No. The... Some of I, them are only specific. Uh, maybe, but I'd like so so to that point, Dusan. I own them, so that I should at least be able to see it. So, mm -hmm. but anyways, it it just oh. says it. All right, so we're gonna go custom, and then yeah, I, I guess you're gonna my backgrounds now. Look it up. Yeah, I gotta pull them up really quick. Actually, so I should have it. Just I'm remember, it's PHB only. Yep. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm uh, yeah, we're just we're using the five E tools. Yeah, five e two. The the illegal shit because it's so much easier to to use in a group. <laughs> exactly. You have the books. It's fine. I do have the. Well, that's the <laughs> thing. Like, yeah, I have the books, but then what? I have to buy them in roll twenty, and then what? I have to buy them on D and D Beyond if I want them on. Like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. What? No. I'm not gonna purchase it yeah. sixteen different times, I'm man. I'm not gonna pay six hundred dollars just so I can have all of my books at all times. Yeah, <laughs> that's so ridiculous. Uh, so let's see. Uh, what can I even do? What do I want to do? What is this? 
Mm. They have two copies of each book. One for me and one for Aaron. <laughs> like, that's so... That's just physical copies, which is fine, but, like, I don't want to have to pay for it in, like, three different things for three different activities. Like, if I was playing everything in person all the time, then I'd just have the book. But I don't have that option, you know? Like, we I play a bunch of stuff on Roll20 and... But yeah, I mean, it doesn't the make that, sense. Like, the, the, the digital book goes Wait, why can't you take Criminal? I mean, I can. I just... I, I don't think it makes no. sense for what I want my character. If I did oh. the gnome, if I did the the gnome rogue, or sorry, the halfling rogue, I would have totally oh, sure. chosen criminal. Uh, you could be a criminal and also be a bard. A spy, a spy bard. Yeah, you're a spy. A you're spy. you're you're a dealer of information. No, I don't think that's what I want. I don't think that's what I. Want. I'm just I'm taking a look through all these. Give me just a moment. Give me a moment. Give, give me give me a chance. Give me, just give me a chance. Give me a chance. What is Acolyte anyway? Acolyte? Religious stuff. It's the religious uh, yeah. stuff. <laughs> Gobbledygook. It is, uh... It's my... <laughs> I just you insulted half life. of everybody in the world. <laughs> it's <worry>. fine. <laughs> it's more um... like you're kind of like a pilgrim kind of thing. You you devote your life to right, a temple right. or a specific god. Yeah. And then you get free housing in any, any of those temples. Which is kind of cool, but... You could convince people that we need we need lodging. Guy's kid. Ooh. I can do that. I'm a folk hero. Guy's kid. Oh, true. Kid. Ooh. I, I, hold on. Let me see. I get a scam with this too. Okay, it's new. So people's lives. Charlatan. <laughs> I'm think I'm Charlton's thinking of fun. Charlatan. I'm looking at it right now. It's Charlatan's pretty fun. Uh, I put on new identities like clothes. Ooh. Unsolid hand cons and street corners. You gonna be a faceless man from Game of I, Thrones? I could. That'd be that'd be funny. Just a faceless bard. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Can't wait to see it. Let's go. Ah, oh, jeez. I, I, I love that. Uh, Warlock has the one of the invocations is basically that you can cast this guy's self at will, so you yeah. pretty much become a faceless man. Yeah. You, you just do that now. That's pretty cool. You no, know, I think I, I'll, I'll just. Uh, who you have you, entertainer as your, so you I do. I like. You should be I like a charlatan. Her, yeah, I think charlatan. I like charlatan's cool. I think charlatan is gonna be cool, so I think I'm gonna do that. That looks like it seems fun. like a lot of fun, and because I have a skill proficiency in deception, I get to choose something else, right? Because that's a charlatan. Yes. Cool. Yeah, you'll be able to choose one for your uh, your race again, I think. Or your class, excuse me. Yay. Um, which will be dope. So... Yeah, so... Custom. Skill proficiencies. Do I call, spell it? Okay. Uh, char Charlatan. And you'll Charlatan. be so good at, like, persuasion and deception, you can be like, you want this piece of garbage? Yes, I know you do. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you totally <laughs> and you really like, want it's, it's kind this of trash. Like because his, his whole idea behind it was that he's just able to pick up, like, anyone he wants to at any time or get anybody to do anything that he wants at any time just because he's so charming. They're just like, you say oh, that now. you play an instrument. But yeah, exactly. We're gonna try, but it's not gonna work. All right. So what? So it are automatically the... blacks out anything that I already have a skill proficiency in. So I could, I guess I could like, just pick something else because it would work the same way, right? Hang on. Let me take a look at what is it? Charlatan. Deception and sleight of hand. So yeah. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go back to your race, or I mean your class, excuse me, mm -hmm. and just pick <laughs> something else. Is it my race or my class? Your class. Okay, it was my class. All right. Mm -hmm. Then you're going to click on deception and you're going to just pick something else. Cool. Sounds good to me. What uh, race are you? I am it's human. human. I am human. human. Oh, yes. I am Detroit Become Human. I haven't played that yet. <laughs> I've watched a bit of the Game Grumps play and I'm like, I'm kind of into it. Yeah, I think it'd be a lot of fun. Actually, considering getting a PS4 for that game. Really? That's that's the one. That's the I'm, one that I'm sells it. Things, you know? <laughs> Fallout 76, please. Oh uh, uh, yeah, yeah. 
Uh, okay. What, so are you, what are you picking? Do, I'm going to pick... This is always so hard. Ah, so many choices. You know what? I'll pick history. Sure. As a bard, I should know some history. Sure. Like history my, it in is. My, in my sure. songs I sing. So we'll go with that. All right. So that means you get deception, deception and you background. get sleight of hand. Just to make sure, you do have performance, right? Yes. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, performance, I think, oh, was, was on there. Uh, and then you get disguise kit. Was there, right? <laughs> I, just, I think it, it, it comes with it, I think, or something. I got to look at it. Oh, there's so many freaking tools and things. He is. Mm -hmm. And forgery kit. Come on, you could, you could load a little faster. That'd be really nice. Come on. Little Unacceptable. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so you already had like deception and sleight of hand, so you get three other ones, right? Yeah. No, he did not have sleight of hand. No, yeah, sleight of hand. So you, sleight of hand's in You only got to change one because he had deception. What? Because charlatan only comes with two skill proficiencies? In total. Yeah, I'd have five proficiencies in total. Why aren't you loading for me? Oh, sorry. Sorry, I'm talking about skill proficiencies, not like tools. Right. Yeah, that's what we're saying. Why aren't you doing anything right now? Show me the. Is it page. broke? I don't know if it worked. It might just be loading. Okay. There we go. That's weird. It's having me choose my profic all of my proficiencies again. That's really yeah, weird. So it broke a little bit? All right. I guess it broke a little bit. Are you on my character sheet as well? Possibly. Because that, that, <laughs> that, that might be. Maybe. <laughs> uh, but I, I mean, it doesn't matter to me. I don't care. Did you break I'm just it? following along. So Normally, like when it, whenever I'm on like someone's sheet and I do something, they can see it. But right now, it's just kind of like ignoring the fact that we're doing two different things. Yeah, performance, so. persuasion, and then history. Is what I'm doing my three proficiencies and, and skill proficiencies. Mm -hmm. uh, now and then deception and sleight of hand for background, right? Yep. And I have to go choose my instrument proficiency, my tool proficiencies, like, um, viol and pan flute. There we go. Sorry, charlatan, you get deception and sleight of hand. Yes. Correct. Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm just going through and double checking everything. Uh, I think I have to choose my race again. What? Yeah, because like all my perf my bonuses are all, all all out of whack. Uh. I'm starting to think the character Mansa still has some issues. Yeah, it probably does have a little bit of issues. If you go back in a page, I think it resets everything. Nope, yeah. it's still good for me. Really? Yep. Uh, I wonder that's... if it's because you are fiddling with it at the same time. Yeah, it might be because we're both it, on it. It but... shouldn't take things away. No, I know. That's that's just weird. Might be some kind of... We'll it's move forward. How about that? We'll we'll <laughs> stick to moving. Forward. Well, like one, fix them later. We'll adjust it after, if anything. Well, the thing is, like, once I hit go on this, it's gonna create the character sheet anyways, because I'm doing exactly what you want. So oh, it okay. should work on my end and just have it there anyway. Yeah, yeah. So even if it doesn't pop up on your end, it'll pop up on mine. So right yeah. now, I have I have all your skill proficiencies correct. I have your tool proficiencies. Uh, you don't get any language proficiencies. So we're looking at custom background feature. Which is yes. scam. So, what is your scam? Uh, so my scam. Hold on, my scam. Uh, da, 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 da. You sell trash. Hold on. <laughs> if you're running a scam, you really should have a sham as a instrument. Yeah. Right. Wow, that was a reach. Deucin. Uh, come oh on. my god. <sighs> I feel like and it's I like I don't know why this is like in my head like this. You should know that by now. 
if <laughs> if I run sleight of hand con on straight corners, mm -hmm. I feel like that's very Disney, right? Like, okay, like that sure. is your anti-hero, like, oh yeah, he's super charming, but also is a thief. Uh, no anti-heroes. No, I know. <laughs> yeah, that's borderline. Uh... I know. Uh, Card tricks and like, you know, follow the, the thing under the, or follow the cup with the ball under it or whatever, fine. You know, but. Oh, yeah, yeah. Don't be a dick to be a dick. No, Follow exactly. the rules of chat, man. Don't be a dick. <laughs> <laughs> so then it almost feels like I have to do... Because I, I, that's the thing about Charlatan, is like all the scams are like in that, that be a dick category. Because <laughs> that's uh, like that. documents can be a good, used for good. That's true. You can or just make up your own scam. Or, or it doesn't the, have to be on the list. Yeah, it doesn't have to be this. The identity change. I know, I'm just bad at thinking of like of things like that. See, so if bad. I were- I want to make right, a charlatan here, here's character that's like- and it just be a cheat at games of chance. <laughs> Let's or, you, you just all- you can that. always roll a d6 and it choose it for you. Let's do that! Alright! <laughs> Roll slash a D6. roll D6. Roll a D6. Let's go. The Robin Hood kind of all right, show. let's do roll, this. Roll it all. Uh, roll, the, like, roll the D6. Uh, roll the D8. Roll the roll the whole personality trait. <laughs> roll D6. Uh, sorry. There it is. One D6. Roll one D6. Let's see. Five. You run sleight of hand cuts at street <laughs> corners. All right. <laughs> We're in there. All right. Well, all right. That's what you were uh, going to pick. So. Yeah, there yeah. it is. So personality traits. Uh, there's a couple of them in here. A fall in and out of love easily. Always pursuing someone. I have a joke for every occasion. Where humor is inappropriate, most especially. Flattery is my preferred trick for getting what I want. I'm born gambler who can't resist taking a risk. Uh, I lie about almost everything. Even when there's no reason to. Sarcasm and insults are my weapon of choice. I keep multiple holy symbols on me and invoke whatever deity might be coming in useful at any given um, moment. Pocket I anything go I see. Number three, flattery right. is my preferred trick of forgetting what I want. Perfect. Boom. It's how I make my way through life now, so I'm gonna do it in game <laughs> two. <laughs> now, and now I know this for future reference. Every time you say something nice to me. I'll have to ask, what do you want? Great. Oh, Joel, you know I love you. No, get out of here. <laughs> this is the last game that you're in. No! All right. Yeah, it just you're... disappears in a puff of smoke. Yeah, uh... bye, Miara. Um, all right, oh. ideal. Independence, I'm a free spirit. No one tells me what to do. Fairness, I never target people who can't afford to lose a few coins. Charity, I just... You're Robin Hood. That's what it is. Yeah. Creativity. I never run the same con twice. Friendship. Material goods come and go, but bonds of friendship last forever. <laughs> Inspiration. <laughs> I'm determined to make something of myself. Yeah. Uh... Don't don't pirates know that it's not about the treasure, but about the friendships <laughs> they made along the way? <laughs> the true one treasure. Piece. <laughs> God. Uh... Oh, that's good. Or your brother. Or your brother. <laughs> your... Hey, man, it, it's all about my brother. <laughs> I'm not your buddy guy. I I'm feel like sure. my character has a soft spot, so I'm going to do charity. So number three. Sure. You're yeah. Robin Hood. I'm Robin Hood. In a way. All right. <laughs> ba -ba 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 -bond. Ba -ba -ba bond I fleeced the wrong person. Ba -ba -ba I must work mm -hmm. to ensure that this individual never crosses paths with me. I owe everything to my mentor, a horrible person who's probably rotting in jail somewhere. Somewhere out there, I have a child who doesn't know me. I'm making the world better for him or her. I come from a noble family. One day I'll reclaim my lands and title from those who stole them from me. I'm a powerful person. Oh, a powerful person killed someone I love. Someday soon, I'll have my revenge. I swindled and ruined a person who didn't deserve it. I seek to atone for my misdeeds. I mm. might never be able to forgive myself. Roll. Roll. I think I'm... Roll. <laughs> roll. <laughs> I'll definitely roll for the flaw. I'll roll for the flaw for sure. All right. But I feel yeah. like I already know for that uh, what I want. But I'm going to go... I think for this, I'm going to go... Because I'm, I'm split, you know, between six and two. Mm-hmm. Because two is just really funny. And I, I really like, like six. 
I'm gonna but, say. Yeah. But it's your character, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's, don't it's, it's, don't let me no tell pressure. you what to do. Yeah, don't let I'm, me tell you what to do. No, I know. I saw a person who didn't deserve it. I seek to tell him my name is Steve. I'm just trying to think based off of everything else I got, you know? Like what how I'm making it all work together in my head. I think think. Dude, roll. roll. Just roll. If it's taking this long for you no, to decide, sorry, just roll. I, know. I always like, I think about each step and I'm like, which one do I want? It's a one shot. I know. This is all you need to know. Yeah, <laughs> hey, hey, I still get into it regardless. What is that? A D, what is that? D6 or D8? D6. Roll one D6. Okay, cool. Roll a D6. Na, 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 na. Oh, oh God. One. Uh, uh, you fleece the wrong person must work to ensure the individual never crosses paths with you or That's fine. people you care about. And I'm going to roll another is. d6 because I'm... some lazy. <laughs> Two. Two! I've al I'm always in debt. I spend my ill-gotten gains on decadent luxuries faster than I bring them in. That's fair. I think that's super fair. For everything I've gotten. You want the All best right. of everything. It was gonna be I can't resist a pretty face if I was just to choose it, but I think I like this better. I almost chose that one too. I was like, well I can't refuse a pretty face. <laughs> Alright, so there's that. You you've been filling it out on that side. I just don't wanna like ruin everything. Yeah, no, you're good. Cool. Don't worry about it. All I right. just don't wanna ruin things on my end by pressing. It's stuff. equipment time. Equipment time. Well, you get leather armor and a dagger, so there you go. That's pretty neat. What else do you cool. want? I get to choose all three, or is it just... Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I believe so. You get to choose, I think, one of each of these. Oh, yeah, because one of them's the weapon, one of them's which pack, and the last one is what is your uh, instrument. Okay. Got it, got it, got it. Um, I'm gonna go with. I think I was saying crossbow before. Where is it? Yeah. Yeah. So light crossbow. Light crossbow or short short bow are your two kind of ranged. Yep. Light crossbow. I'm gonna stick okay. with that. Um. And then diplomats pack or entertainers pack. What is the difference? I forgot to pick a pack for mine. Um... I totally forgot about that. A diplomat's pack. Wait, or am I thinking of a wrong thing? It comes with a bunch of like inks and stuff. Yeah, yeah, like, it does. Like letter writing tools. Yeah, and... parchment, ah. ink, quill, that kind of thing. Like a weather or um, a wax seal, stuff like that. Yeah. No, no, no. We're, we're going. We're going with entertainers pack. Uh, okay. And the instrument on hand. I'm gonna go with the viol. Nice. So All right. Uh, for down. charlatan, do you pick up anything else? Mm. Uh, Fine. Uh, yeah, you, you do. We'll have to enter that later because it doesn't. It doesn't. There's not a spot for it. Yeah, because there's it doesn't not a have spot. Anything. Yeah. So we'll have to uh -huh. do that later. That's cool. fine. You do get stuff. You have like fine clothes, disguise kit, tools of the con, ten stoppered bottles filled with colored liquid, set mm -hmm. of weighted dice, deck of marked cards, or a signet ring. Blah blah blah, and a belt pouch with cool. fifteen gold. So we'll do that. All right, but you get spells. Magic, magic, magic. Magic mm -hmm. missile. Yeah, magic I'm gonna use missile. magic missile for my bard cantrip. So every time I play a violin stroke, it just shoots <laughs> at me. <laughs> no, uh... Dude, all I'm imagining is like Devil went down to Georgia, and that's literally yeah, yeah. you in every fight now. Just... <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, I don't that's even know it. what half of this is. Oh uh, dancing Lights, Light, Mage Hand, Mending, Message, Minor Illusion, Prestidigitation, True Strike, and Vicious Mockery. All right, so Dancing Lights is a bunch of little lights. Uh, light is actually like the light spell, and it has a larger radius. Uh, Mage Hand is like an invisible hand that can do stuff at a distance. 
mending yeah. men's small things like within a one foot cube i think uh message is it's like a free message that you can whisper to someone that you're not next to like you just point at them and you can talk to them 25 um, words or less right but you can do it every six seconds for free so if it's like in a non-combat situation you can just do it most likely i don't know how our dm is going to say it but it's every six <laughs> seconds you can do it Ta basically telepathically to somebody yeah uh, minor illusion is it's a, like a minor non-moving uh, image of, of I think like three by three foot by three foot or uh, a sound of some kind. Um, not both. Uh, prestidigitation uh, is is what, I I never remember how to like accurately describe this. It's like you could you make yourself look better or look prettier or clean yourself off like instantaneously with magic. Yeah, you can like clean things or make something smell good or create yeah. a sound effect. Yes. Uh, true strike mm -hmm. is you you cast a spell and I think it gives advantage on the next attack to to whoever hits that thing. Uh, that's, or I is it that's... disadvantage? To... Hang on. I'm going I'm to look it up because it's right in front of me and there's no reason for me not to look these things yeah, up. Yeah, I think yeah, the wording right. is that um, it imposes disadvantage on True strike. Divination cantrip. One action. You extend your hand and point a finger at a target in range. Your magic grants you brief insight into the target's defenses. On your next turn, you gain advantage on your first attack roll against this target. Provided that the spell had not ended. Yeah. Okay. So it gives you advantage on an attack. It and gives me vicious... it gives someone I someone. No, just you. Okay. Vicious mockery. Uh you unleash a string of insults laced with subtle enchantments at a creature you can see within range. If the target can hear you, uh, it doesn't need to understand you. It must succeed on a wisdom save or take 1d4 psychic and have disadvantage on the next attack roll it makes. Mm. That mm. one's pretty good. A, a yeah. Vicious Mockery is pretty good. I think I'm going to do Vicious Mockery. Okay, so that's <laughs> one. You get two. And then I think I'm also going to do... Uh... Prestidigitation. Prestidigitation? Sure. Yeah. Or pressies, as I like to call it. Pressies. Yeah, that, that, oh my <laughs> god. That's a mouthful. Yeah. Yeah. I want to be you're clean. Like... I gotta remain handsome. It's it's one of those things that like I would just call it presentation because it technically <laughs> is just presentation. Like that's all it is. You're Shenanigan. you're enhancing that. It's kind of true. Clean yeah. self. Hashtag clean self. <laughs> yeah, so you create an instantaneously harmless sensory effect, such as a shower of sparks, puff of wind, faint musical notes, or an odd odor. Ooh, instantaneously that could be your light. harmony. Yeah. Your music. <laughs> instantaneously so light or snuff out a candle, torch, or small campfire. Instantaneously clean soil uh, or soil an object no larger than one cubic foot. Chill, warm, or flavor one cubic foot of non-living material. You make a color, small mark, or symbol appear on an object or surface for an hour. Create a non-magical trinket or illusory image that can fit in your hand and last until the end of the next turn. If you cast this spell multiple times, you can have up to three of its non-instantaneous effects active at one time. And you can dismiss, dismiss, dismiss such an effect as an action. Words! Go Words. I like it. That's cool. I feel like your character would always be, like, flavoring their food and stuff because yeah. you like the finest things in life you've got your camp rations but you're just like no 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 no, no, no. They watch don't taste this good. <laughs> watch yeah. this <laughs> yeah they're like mres we way. don't eat those let's just say that the easy way of describing this character mr fancy boy <laughs> he is literal fancy pants is He's, that your um, nickname can we call you that extreme fancy boy fancy boy uh, okay, so now you have some level one spells. Okay. Animal friendship. Bane. What is Bane? Bane. Up, up to three. Cre oh, sorry. No, go, go, go for it. <laughs> up to three creatures of your choice that you can see within range must, must make charisma saving throws. Whenever a target that fails the saving throw makes an attack roll or saving throw before the spell ends, must roll a d4 and subtract the number rolled from the attack or saving throw. Wow. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, so I'm, I'm taking Bane. All right, Bane. Then there's Charm Person, which is charming a person. Comprehend languages. Makes sense. Cure wounds. Detect magic. Disguise self. Cure enthrall. Uh, fairy fire. Feather fall. Healing word. Heroism. That's one I haven't actually seen. What's heroism? 
A willing creature you touch is imbued with bravery. Until the spell ends, the creature is immune to being frightened. Gains temporary hit points equal to spellcasting ability modifier at the start of each of its turns for a minute. When the spell ends, the target loses, its any, loses any remaining temporary hit points. Okay. Uh, um, there's potions of heroism as well. Tasha's hideous laughter. Identify. Illusory script. Long strider, which I think just increases your movement. Silent image. Sleep and speak with animals. Sleep is actually really powerful at low levels. At low levels. Um, what's the difference between healing word and and uh, cure wounds? One is healing a, word. Yeah, sorry. One is a, an action and one is a bonus action. Which one's and the bonus heal, action? Heal heal and heals much. So the one that's an action obviously heals for more, and the one right. that's a also healing word can be cast at sixty feet. Cure wounds Excellent. have to be touching. Yes. I think I'm going to do Healing Word. Uh, so I've got Bane, Healing Word. Uh, I'm going to take a look at Charm Person. I want to see what that is. Just, I'm assuming it's I just always like... liked Healing Word. Because Healing Word is like, someone goes down and they're about to die, but you're 60 feet away and you can yell at them and they'll get up. <laughs> it's just up! like, all right, we're good. We started all over again. <laughs> yeah. Yell a guy off the ground. Yeah. Uh... uh so would you say charm person? Yeah, I think I'm gonna take charm person. Looking at it, pretty good. Uh, and then sleep. And slip. Okay, I you'll sleep. get. That's I th good. think he gets more at level five, but we'll we'll have to get to that. Yeah, yeah. We'll take a look. All right. Uh, feats. Um. So at level four, you get either a feat, uh, or you get plus one to two different, or is it plus two to one thing? I don't remember. For your ability score increase. Uh, I think it was. I get plus. It's on here. Let me take two to one or one to two. Two to one or one to two. Okay. So either. That's nice. Or a feat. Or a feat. Yeah. Sorry, what cantrips did you take? Prestige digitation and what? Else? And uh, vicious mockery. Vicious mockery. Yeah, that's really good pretty much mandatory for a bar. So you could take you could take a feat or you can go up to 18 charisma. <laughs> if you're feeling like for you like want to. Four. Ooh. Which gives you which gives you another uh bardic inspiration too. Yeah. Ooh. It's a one shot. Let's go for it. <laughs> I love it. Okay. I don't need a feat. What do I need a feat for? I've got. So we'll, we'll have to do that after because it's it's only letting us make someone at level one. So just remember right, that. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Cool. We did a thing. Apply changes. Building the character. Applying one change, two changes, three changes. <laughs> it's it's literally compiling the thing. That's Let's super see if it cool, actually though. works. It's neat. It's neat. Let's just We're gonna have to works. do a little bit of stuff to 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 make you level five, but other than that, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Especially for level one creation, that's nice. Mm -hmm. I wish it need. I wish it had more of the backgrounds. Yeah, that's the That'd only one nice. I see right now. Is it's only got acolyte. It's really I mean, odd. It's also definitely it's definitely limited to just player handbook stuff. Yeah, like yeah. there's nothing references. outside player handbook in this. Yeah. So. But if they just added it, I'm sure they're gonna add it later. Oh, totally. Kind of it's probably like in a in a beta right now, or like an alpha. Still applying a uh, sub race change three out of twenty eight changes. <laughs> this this may be a bit. So then, just a Z sub. Is, is it not letting you do anything else until then, or? No, I mean I could probably do other stuff. It's just compiling your character sheet. Yeah, I mean I if you if guys want to like race empty somehow worked it. Yeah. You guys could probably like move on to the next next people like while all this is not happening. allowed not allowed okay sure why not <laughs> uh i don't want to hit the x on this though so i'm just gonna if you just make it much smaller i'm just gonna make it smaller and i'm gonna move it off to the side hey. <laughs> <laughs> okay uh so i've got lenore in front of me here and i've got and i'll fix my name later Hedrick. Hydric? Hydric. Hedrick. 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 Uh oh, cool picture. Wow. So you I'll look right super back. edgy. I have to use <laughs> I'm a warlock. It that looks kind of like your miniature. I like it. 
Yeah, that's why I peeked that. So picture. edgy. Can you okay. Even sure. Wait. Mm, no. Okay, so you have your. There we go. You did the the point buy mm -hmm. as well, Dusan. Yeah. So you're good. Okay. Cool. Uh, so going down your list, you got twelve strength, fourteen dexterity, ten constitution, twelve intelligence, ten wisdom, and sixteen charisma. Cool. 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 Uh, is this currently at level one? Like, is everything at level one? Level five. Nope, you have you have five hit die, so there's your yeah. level up there. Okay, cool. So you need to do hit points, it yeah. looks like. Okay. So uh, I'm assuming the reason you wait is because you want to roll some hit points. Yeah, I know I'm going to regret this. Heck, heck, heck yeah. Crap. We're going to do some some hit point oh, rolling. Man. So what is your... Uh, <laughs> your your What's the die? Is it 1d8? I think it's a hit d8. I can just okay. click the hit dice and it should... And it'll good. pop up, yeah. So let's uh let's do hit die. So your current what's the starting one you're gonna have is eight plus zero, right? So you have starting is eight Let me check for level that. one. It might have been actually more the starting HP. I'm sorry, what was that? The starting HP might have been no, it's eight. Yeah, eight plus you're gone. Yeah. So it's eight, and then we start rolling. Four times, yes. Yes. Two, three, four, five, yeah. One. Okay. Probably roll as the character. Uh oh. <laughs> it's just one Ooh. off the average. Yeah, yeah. It's just it's that plus zero that's that's like yeah. cool. Okay, the average. Nice. Doing doing all right. Okay, okay. Where's that big eight? Big ah. eight. No. Oh God. Yeah. Okay. It's a good thing I Yikes. got the um, temp things for temporary hit points. Otherwise, I'm yeah. screwed. Yeah. I'm. Yeah. I'm just reading through your stuff. Armor of Shadows. Is that what you're talking about? Armor of Shadows and the uh, fiendish wigger. Mage armor on yourself at will. Doesn't mage armor only work if you don't wear armor? Exactly. Yeah. 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 That's why I have like the armor unequipped. I'm probably gonna sell it. Ah, okay, so that's why it's grayed out, so it's unequipped. Understood. I was like, I don't think I've ever seen that grayed out like that before. Yeah, because I get, like, plus At two will. compared to that. Without expending spell slots or material components. That's super nice! Holy shit, Armor of Shadows, that's awesome. So what is that? That puts you at, like, 15, right? Yeah. So wait. Okay, because your dex is plus two. Cool, 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 cool. Pack to the blade, because you're a slicey boy. Eldritch Blast, love that. Vampire Touch, Fireball. You have Fireball? Yeah, oh, I hit it dude. Be because uh, I have the Fiend. Oh, I patron. love it. That's yeah. gonna be amazing. So what? You Only you haven't picked a weapon monster. though. You don't have uh, your weapons yet. Yeah, yeah, I have it. So let's do I that. Roll that. So let's uh, let's do let's do weapons. Yeah. Why not? What's your Pact Blade? Well, yeah. Like, let's do the ones from the uh, the class first, and then I'm gonna go talk about the packed weapon. Okay. I guess it. So where's celestial fiend? So is it hexblade or fiend? You picked fiend, fiend. because hexblade is not in the player's handbook. Right. Right. Otherwise, mm. I definitely would have picked hexblade. <laughs> okay. Armor of Shadows ascended stuff. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I'm just I'm just reading through stuff. So yeah, let's let's look at your uh, what you get uh, at the beginning. You get a light crossbow. Nah. Eight. I don't. Uh, think I'm a gonna component pick the, pouch uh, or arcane focus. Yeah, I'm gonna pick the. I'm not gonna pick the crossbow. I'm gonna pick a simple weapon. Definitely okay. arcane focus. I already sure. have the dungeon ass back added. Okay. And you've got. Leather armor, any simple weapon, and two daggers. Yes. So you need two simple weapons, two daggers, and an arcane focus. Yeah, you gonna add those? I'm not gonna add those. Oh, I'll do it. That's fine. What 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 simple weapon do you want? I'll go ahead and um, put the daggers in. Uh, at least one of them. I think I'm gonna take dots. I'm sorry, I, I totally missed that. I dragged and dropped. Where did it... Why did it go over here? Oh, for some reason it put it in proficiencies. Weird. I'm gonna go ahead and remove that. There we go. You have two daggers now. <laughs> okay. What was, yeah. the, what was the other one? Darts. Darts. Oh, that's right. You mentioned that earlier. 
yards. I'm gonna have like because I'm never gonna use those. I have the packed blade, and I have yeah. the spells. So those are mostly just gonna be fluff. I want easy to conceal weapons. Yeah, ten of them. All right, cool stuff. Um, yeah. So so tell me tell me about packed blades. Like I I literally have no yes, idea I what I what the uh, other other simple weapon. Oh oh, that's one of them. Okay, sure yeah. sure sure. I can I can't decide what. Do I just want more darts or twenty darts that you'll never use? <laughs> <laughs> Well, just remember, too, you're going to get a DM-appointed uncommon-grade weapon, so that could be... So it's going to oh. be a weapon. Because he, he, the thing was he... I believe he said fight. weapon, yes. Okay. Okay. I thought Good I said it was just That's a trinket. Fair. Although if it's an uncommon, it's a magic weapon, I could make it a backed blade. That's Good. what I'm thinking. You might want to wait to see what your packed blade might be. If it's that item, you know? Well, I can change it later, but like... Actually, he didn't say weapons. He said, I've come up with what I hope are some fun and cool items. Items. Items, cool. Yeah, okay. that's what I was going to say. It's like, items. Um... I uh, just, I guess just pick one and see what happens. Weapon... Yeah, go ahead and pick your other simple. And then we'll just we'll do the pack weapon. And if you get a packed weapon that's magical, then cool. Five E two six being slow. Let's see. Please and book ass. Yeah, he wrote. Uh, I'm trying to make items that will actually be used, but also would have been picked up along the the way anyway. Kind of thing. That makes sense. Okay. So, Professor, as an update, uh, building your character sheet is still stuck on three of 28. Oh, boy. I'm a little bit concerned. Um, Ouch. I don't want to exit out of it. Did you exit out of your character sheet yet? I did. Okay. Um, I'm a little concerned. Okay, so it kicked me all the way back. It's got all... It looks like it has all your stuff. Review... Apply. Maybe it just got stuck. Might have just got stuck. We're redoing it. Hopefully it works. Um Get past three. You can do it. It's 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 sitting on three still. <laughs> um Take I a think screenshot have, of everything. So then the when if like it doesn't work, really we can just go like in. Hey hey guys, when you talk at the same time, I ah. literally can't hear anything. You so, first one, one at a time, Dusan, what's up? Uh, I was just thinking that if you, if it's working, if you leave the subrace empty, so is there like an option for none? So, uh, possibly? Let's see. Thinking from a, like a programmer's point of view. Yeah, let me go to race real quick. So, we might have to manual add the plus one, but that doesn't make, like, the, the sub, the, the subrace thing didn't do... Is it as choose and as custom? We can just leave it on choose and see what happens. Uh, no, because it doesn't want me to apply. So you had something Next. in the sub race. Yeah, we mm. had a uh, human, I think, standard human. Yeah, it's standard human. So I'm going to select custom and see what happens. Nope, you have to actually select everything. Nah. But it doesn't that was, want... That, that if was you... my question, that if it, if it was empty... You can't empty. If you if you empty it, it doesn't let you go. It yeah, doesn't yeah. let you hit apply. Okay. Then. So it's interesting that it's stuck on this. Okay. <laughs> Let's take a look at what your ability scores are so we can remember it. Cause I'm gonna hit X and see what happens. I think there's like eight. I have them all. <sighs> Charisma. Nine, fourteen, fourteen, thirteen, thirteen, sixteen. Okay. Save and exit? Try it. Oh, it did work. Hey, it did work. You have to just hit save and exit. There's no apply. For, yeah. All Weird. right. Cool. You live. All Yay. right. Cool. We'll, Yay. we'll get to we'll get to you in a second. Yeah, and then we'll have to fix up the feats and stuff for it, right? Like the or like the the like because it's the human variant. Like I'd either get a feat or the plus. Two. Are you doing the variant or not? Yeah, that's a, that was what it was. I was doing the human variant. No, you did standard. 
Oh, did just I get plus one okay. to everything. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. No worries. You don't have to. We're fine. We're fine. No, never mind. We're okay. Good. Good. All right. Hedrick. Yes. What else do you need, bud? Uh, I think I'm going to have a sickle as my second simple weapon. Makes sense to have a um, scholar for herbalism and stuff. Sure. And uh, sickle it is. Then what else? Boop. And you're in there. You got a lot of blades on you, bud. Well, the daggers are going to be hidden, but yeah. <laughs> Lots uh, of blades. I already have the dungeon. It's back the uh, focus. Yes. So you just need a... Is that the sound a sickle makes? Boop. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Just, it does. Just poke, poke with them. Have you not been paying attention during die fall whenever I swing out with my second sickle or my sickle? It never hits, so it always goes boop. <laughs> just tap yeah. on the nose with the pointy end. <laughs> just like, uh, so <laughs> focus, spell focus is not a thing we can drag and drop from this. Okay, cool. So we not? just put that in there. Nah. Spell focus. Done. It weighs, let's say it's the same weight as a dart. 0.25. Not that weight necessarily matters, but I like having that filled. Okay, cool. Uh, anything else? I think that's all from the uh, warlock. Then the uh, background is a sage, so I get a bottle of black ink, a quill, a small knife, a let letter, set of common clothes, which I've already added, and a belt pouch containing 10 GP. I can pretty much add everything else but the uh, clothes and the gold to treasure, I think. Because they're not like equipment per se. Well, so the gold you just put in next to your equipment. There's the whole yeah, thing. Yeah, like, like I said, everything else except the clothes and the gold goes to treasure because it's like quill and leather and stuff like that. Oh, sure. I guess if you want to put it that way. Because it's like mostly fluff stuff as opposed sure. to like actually usable stuff. Okay, edit those. It's useful. Yeah. Do how do you how do you edit them? Is that what you said? Uh, it's in bio. Oh, you did. Oh, it's already there. Yeah. Nice. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Neato. The ten and uh, gold. Ten and gold. Cool. And I think that's everything, like equipment-wise. Then it's the packed weapon. Okay, so what what needs to happen for that? I've never, never seen uh, like I don't I don't know what this is. Also, we have a we have a question in chat. Where's context for the one shot? Uh, Kenny, I'm gonna be honest here. I don't know. <laughs> We're just, I, uh, yeah, our, we don't have a we don't have our DM here, but we we have uh someone who knows the DM here. I know. The Do we DM. have context? Uh. He hasn't given me anything yet. All that we know. Yeah. Here, I will literally read you read what it. He the wrote. sentence that we got from earlier. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let me just find it real quick there. I'm on board with that, Kenny. It would help, but you know what's fun? <laughs> Making characters and for a one shot that you'll never see again, so what does it matter? <laughs> yeah, you can make pretty generic backgrounds for characters like those. Hey, if I yeah, make level exactly. five, would I be able to bring this bard over to <laughs> to die fall? No. <laughs> Sad. It's a different universe, man. I'm not gonna <laughs> you don't cross dimensional this crap. <laughs> What if I just build them the exact same way? <laughs> you can do whatever you like, bud. Cool. But Miara and Balmir die first. Well, yeah, of course. They'll they'll have to die first. Open a wormhole, yes. <laughs> well, we'll just like Terminator that crap. From the future. Okay, so this is what he said. In time. I'm working out the specifics of the world and a brief history for you guys, so you have a sense of the setting. Uh, the six of you know each other. Well, there's five now. <laughs> um, that much is known. Uh, you fought and adventured side by side for almost a year at this point. And then he's going to fill us in on the rest. Uh, he has made a pretty extensive map. I saw a little bit. I was like, whoa. Okay, sure. Uh, We're exploring all of that. So, <laughs> so Kenny, uh, at least from reading your your paragraph there, we at least have, okay, keep it to the player's handbook for 5e Dungeons & Dragons. So we can pretty safely say it's probably a fantasy setting. Probably involves some dungeons, maybe, just maybe, some dragons. 
Uh, so I think no. we're pretty set up here to know exactly what's going to happen. I'm telling uh, you, some if we June see a dragon, I'm going to leg it. Yeah, if we see a dragon, I'm out. <laughs> I'll put it to sleep and charm it as my pet. <laughs> I mean, if the DM whips, whips out the spice and I die, well, you know what? That's, uh, that's a one shot. That's uh, in the history books then, I guess. You're Good right. to go. Hopefully we don't do anything too stupid, uh, but we'll we'll find out. Yeah. Okay. So for for your your bl packed blade, um, you create a packed weapon. You choose the form that the melee weapon takes each time you create it. Mm -hmm. Proficient that's, with it. That's the uh, fun so part. I can. I yeah. Can, I can basically decide what weapon this is. It is every time I summon it. Oh, okay. But so... I think I'm gonna focus on like three variants. Okay. A glaive, a long sword, and a whip. Jeez. Ooh. I like That's it. Alright, so so they function as that weapon, right? Yes, basically. So if I put a glaive in here. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. And then we go long sword, right? You know, this is probably your your stock standard pick, right? And then you got your whip. But all of these like have zero weight to them, right? Because they only yeah, they exist are basically when just whisk them away to a pocket dimension. Yeah. Okay. So this is a zero. So this does it change zero. to like have reach if you have a whip and kind of? What? Like so? It get, like, but a... it's every time you summon it, right? Yeah. It's basically the weapon. I just summon. So it, it has the properties of the weapon, just not the weight of it. Yes. Or That's awesome. I, I don't know if it waits once I've summoned it. It would. I mean, it would have a weight when when it when you have it in your yeah. hand, right? Because it, it it summons as the weapon. It's just that weapon goes to a different dimension when you're not using it. Yeah. So it's like Reaper with his dual shotguns that he uses. Yeah. That he just no pulls out of the air. Yes. <laughs> or, or or knock this from Final Fantasy 15. Yeah, sure. There you go. Yeah, sure. because yeah. you could literally throw it at somebody and like resummon it back in your hand, can't you? Yeah. Just yeah. Blade. I can dismiss it as a free action. <laughs> yeah. And then as a free action? action? That's like, crazy. Oh, that's it says, like, cool. If you dismiss the weapon, no action required. But then I have to use an action to resummon it. If you dismiss the weapon, no action required. Yeah. But summon summoning it takes an action. Yeah. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. At I'm least gonna... to, to summon it. At least it doesn't take an action. Dude. I'm gonna add "packed" in parentheses ah, after yeah, every yeah, weapon yeah, 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 yeah. because I have some things that actually like affect only my packed weapons. You use your action to create the packed weapon. Yes, but you can dismiss it for free. Yeah, so basically, it also first... disappears if it's more than five feet away from you for a minute. Yeah, that's a long time. That's ten. Well, turns. I mean, it just means like you can throw it and then you can dismiss it if you want to or something like that or it'll just stay there like a normal weapon cool i like it i've That's never really i've never used a pack to the blade before i actually really like that a lot <laughs> so oh cool. man i'm a little jealous I okay like, i like the situationality <laughs> of it like <laughs> like if, so if yeah, go ahead. something is far away you can just like use the whip and like have the reach you know like it's Glaive also is a reach weapon yeah yeah so that's cool because you can choose what weapon you need at that point in time. It's like, oh man, we got a cavern that we need to cross a little bit. Let me Indiana Jones my way over with. <laughs> or try to trip Hold up. There's with like it. the Grinch over there. I don't want to get too close, so oh, I'm gonna stab God. him with my glaive. <laughs> so for your your background, you took um Sage. sage. Yes. Is that right? Okay. Dope. Did you did you want to fill out your traits and ideals and stuff? Or did yeah, you I wanna... had a list, so I'm pretty much have them set okay cool and then you're, you have a field of study and, and stuff like that yeah i'm a researcher which i cool. should have it's the last one on the features and traits list it but, is indeed ah that's right look at warcaster oh, god you actually yeah. get warcaster yeah i'm a variant human so i just pick it like and hell the, yeah uh, the alert fee also because i i didn't take the attribute points i took another fee you took another feat jeez you're a swift boy when it comes to initiative, huh? Yeah. Plus like seven on your initiative? Okay. Yeah, two from dex, sure. plus five from the feet. Sure, why not? So you're not <laughs> taking the ASI, you're taking the feet? Yeah. Yeah, you yeah. took feet. Wow. 
Damn, son. What well, extra two languages did you choose for your sage? Uh, I have not My language is... Draconic, Abyssal, oh, Infernal... Yeah, dr dr Draconic, Abyssal, and Infernal are selected here currently. Yeah. I, I thought they made sense since, like, Abyssal and Infernal, because I deal with demons. That and would... Draconic, because it's... That would do a language. thing. Magic. Fiend. Is Fiend its own language? I thought Abyssal, or, uh, Infernal fixed, fin uh, fit that. Abyssal yeah. and Infernal are two different languages, but they are related, I think. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, sure, okay. Do you want to fill out your, your personality traits and stuff like that, or do you do you want to do that on your own? Or Yeah, I, I can do that by my own. I, I have a page which has, like, all the personality traits from all the, like, the, all the official ones, so I can just copy paste. Sure. The... All right. Favout, even though that's not your actual name, uh, random character number one, we're going back to you so we can fix your shit. Cool. All right. Let's um, do it. We need to make you level five. Let's go. Standard human, no subclass, bard. Um, so you're starting hit points. Let's do a hit point roll. Okay. Uh, b -b 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 bard Let's see if you can is answer. eight, I think. Yep, it's another 1d8 plus your constitution modifier. So your starting okay. hit points are going to be eight. And then... Uh, you can go ahead and do a 1d8 plus 2, and you're going to roll that four more times. Or you could just hit hit die, because that functions the exact same way. Yeah, I got to pull up that character sheet again. Oh, Good God, way. we got to do... We got to put all of your weapons and shit in here again. Yeah, see, at, when I pull up character sheet, uh, it still has me on character mancer. Go ahead, just hit cancel. Just hit and cancel. don't hit save. Okay. Cancel. Clicking cancel. There what happens? Uh, hold on. It gave me an options before. Okay. Uh, discard and exit. Save and exit. Continue character man. Discard. Cool. What do you see? Uh, I see the character sheet. Perfect. Cool. All right. We're in there. Um... Excellent. <laughs> yeah, bud. I love uh, it. So go ahead and just click hit die. Yeah. And, then. and uh. Ow. Woo! Hot damn. All right. So that's 11. All right. Hit it again, boss. All right. I think I did. There it is. Eight. So 19. Nice. And five. Five, 24. And one more time. One more roll. Three. Oh. 27. Wow. Two. That and two fancy free. Yeah, yeah, two natural ones on the roll. <laughs> Rolls are rough, but hey, it's interesting. Okay. Um. Cool. So now we need to actually do all of the things that it did previously, but did not save. <laughs> like your personality traits, ideals, and bonds. Uh. So yeah, maybe we don't use character mancer until they fix that shit. Because none of your proficiencies are in here either. None of them. That so stays. you had... You picked deception, I think. You had performance, had per persuasion. Per yeah, performance. Sleight yeah, of hand. And uh, history. And history. It's one, two, three, four, five. Yep. Okay. Those are all good. That's all fine. Oh, those are good. Your personality traits. Let's go to your background. I remember which ones they are anyways. Arlatan. Uh, so you're going to have a scam. So you can go ahead and add your, your scam if you want. Our scam. Background. Uh, Arlatan. And you are doing the... Let a hand on street corners. Uh, I think so. I think that was it, yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's what you had before. Okay, and then personality traits. Flatter is my preferred trick. Ideals. Distribute money. Yes. You're Robin Hood. Uh, you fleece the wrong person for your bond. And your flaw is you also uh, spend a lot of money. Right? Yes. You're always in debt. Yes. Cool. Uh, so I that give does all my that. money away. <laughs> yeah, I give all of my money away. It's a charity. 
Uh, okay, so weapons-wise, we already talked about this, right? So you wanted a light crossbow. Yes. Uh, uh, why? Why is it? There's items. Crossbow. Boom. Uh, you also get leather armor. You get. What else do you get? Uh. Let me go back to your class. Uh, any simple weapon, diplomat's pack or entertainer's pack. A dagger, that's right. So you get a, a dagger for free. Yeah. yeah, the dagger for free. Uh, did um, you you I said went... you wanted the entertainer's pack? Yep, entertainer's pack. You should have 20 bolts with that crossbow. Okay. Yeah, hang on. Let me get the bolts. The bolts... 20. Oh, not 120. Excuse me. That would uh, be nice. And the dagger didn't take. Oh, I keep putting the proficiency one in there. It's weird that they have these proficiencies listed now, and you can pick them out of the compendium. Uh, apparently, the entertainer's pack doesn't weigh anything. I know that's wrong, but... <laughs> it's magic. It's an Yeah, so that's cool. <laughs> I know that's wrong. Uh, uh, you get a component pouch. Yeah. Component pouch. A set of fine clothes. Okay. And a pouch. Just a pouch? Yep. A pouch. I, I spelled it as putch, but hey, it's a pouch. <laughs> it's a pouch. Uh, you did your simple weapon. You have your entertainer's pack. Oh, what was your, your musical instrument? was a, a viol, right? Yep, viol. That's what I um, had. Yeah. I'm going to call it a fiddle because it's more fun. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, is fine clothes. Like, in here? It is in here. Oh, neat. They expanded some of the, the compendium stuff Ooh. recently, which is... I wonder if Viola is in here, too. Holy shit, it is. <gasps> Wowee. I mean, I want to call it a fiddle, but that's fine. <laughs> I if, you can I call if, it whatever you want. Oh my god, a random pouch is also in here. Oh, wow, they really did expand the, the, the compendium here. There so still for some reason the entertainer's pack just doesn't have a weight to it, but everything else is fine. Alright, uh so we've got we that was all the background stuff too, right? Thanks. Uh fine clothes disguise kit. Disqueeze. <laughs> disqueeze. Not digweeze, disqueeze. <laughs> <laughs> I I measure forty five degrees. <laughs> degrees. <laughs> and a pooch. Uh, a pooch. A pooch. <laughs> uh, so what was the con of your choice was? Uh, sleight of hand con. So do you want like a, a marked cards deck of marked cards or something? Uh yeah yeah yeah. Uh, apparently cards is not an option for this. So I'm gonna just put marked cards in your thing. Um. Belt pouch containing 15 GP. Cool. Uh, you have a proficiency with... You don't have a forgery kit, but you have proficiency with it. What Are, are we going to say that's charisma? Is that... We're just, we're just going to call it that? Because some sure. of these kits don't make any sense to me for like what they're actually... Sure. Might as well go with charisma. Guys, kit. You have proficiency with this, but you also actually have one of these. So that's uh -huh. cool. Um, and I think that's everything. You have a bunch of like abilities and shit that you're gonna get right now when we go to your class. So Bard, here we go. Let's go through the thing. Yeah. Uh, Bardic Inf Inspiration's at least a thing there already. That's neat. Uh, spell casting. No, it didn't save any of your spells either. Okay, so let's do spells real quick. So you took, um. The fuck did you take? <laughs> I took prestigitation, uh Presti. Vicious Presti Pressies. Pressies. Presti Prested Prested Digest. And, and 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 Vicious Mockery. Yes, vicious mockery. That was it. Right. I was trying to remember like which section they were in. I was like, wait, because I know I have level, fame. what level ones did you take? 
Uh, I took Bane. I think. Bane. And... That's right. Bane, uh, Bane. Sleep and. Bane, sleep. sleep, healing word. Was it charm healing person? And, and charm, charm person. person. Yes. Anything that's charisma based. <laughs> Ooh, mass healing word. Oh Get yeah. Character sheet back. Stop it. And the I know healing. you keep moving stuff. And then what? And healing word. Yes, don't forget yeah, healing yeah. word. Yeah, That's yeah. probably... Uh, okay, so important. also while we're doing this, <laughs> uh, because you're level 5, you have 8 total spells known. So you need 3 level 2 spells and 2 level 3 spells. Ooh. Two, 3 level 2s and 2 level 3s? Yep. You just said? Okay. Mm-hmm. Um... And while that's happening, I'm going to be basically entering in all the shit for your like abilities or whatever that you. I, I gotta, have. I gotta find some spells. Like jack of all trades. Ooh, hold person. Hold on. Where... That's which I have. Oh, you have already. So Show see, off. In, in the compendium, right? it's redundant. We shouldn't. But I also have only two spell slots. Um. You're going to want to read these, by the way, whenever you get a chance after I enter all of these in. Yeah, yeah. Song of Rest is really good. Jack of All Trades is stupid good. I'm trying to see, like, the easiest way I could find them. Oh, go to the uh, spell book in 5e, or the 5e thing. Okay. Here, I'm just going to go to DM tool, or not DM, excuse me, um, Com references, spells, uh... in the... No, not the compendium. Go to the 5e tools. Oh, oh yeah, the 5e tools. Yeah, yeah. And then go I'm to the looking. filter. Uh, here we go. Ooh, detect so, thoughts might be yeah, really good. Able to do it there. So references, right? References. Yeah, Spells. Once it decides it wants to load. Remember, no, I'm unacceptable. Grandma. Unacceptable. Spells. There we go. Oh my God! You get your bard college. I totally forgot. Mm-hmm. So you're gonna have to select that. Bard College. You get to go to college. I go to school. Uh, filter. Uh, second level. Let's do that. Go. No, go. Did you oh, select Bard? Uh, you want Player's Handbook, Bard. Uh, da, da, da. And then you can just Player's sort by handbook, level if you want. Bard. Yeah, uh, we'll go there. And then sort by level, and you can do... Like, invisibility is a second-level spell. Mm-hmm. Sure is. Plus a restoration. Crown of Madness oh. is kind of cool. Oh, my gosh. Uh... Crown of Madness is pretty cool. Suggestion. Zone of Truth. Oh, yeah. What level threes do you have? Spell magic is good. Leoman's Tiny is... Hut. You can get Tiny Hut. <gasps> yes, that's like a free, like... You get a house. Safe, <laughs> safe, uh, long rest every time. Speak with uh, dead. Speak with plants. Come on now. Oh, level four is where you get dimension door. That's that's the real jam right there. <laughs> that's the real jam. Counter spell. We got a raid Counter incoming. Spells. Counter spell. Wait, excuse me. We got a raid incoming. Well, hi uh -oh. everybody. Hi friends. Well, hello there. I don't have it, like, uh, when we're on this one, because I just copied it from it, it doesn't actually show me any of the, like, things that are happening. Oh, God, it is. It's Rob. Hi, Rob. Hi, Rob. Hey, Rob. Hey, Rob and friends. Hello. Hi, guys. Hi, I'm Raider. I'm waving chat. What's up, bud? Oh, geez. Apparently, I've been missing Kenny this whole time. I'm sorry. Just a question of activity. And it's a free tiny hut. It's a creatures. <laughs> Gee, thanks, Rob. Creatures are You're making me self more, even more self conscious. I <laughs> know <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's great, right? We get to see Dozen's face. You can either take this tiny hut or whatever's inside this box. There could even be a tiny hut in this box. <laughs> that is one of my favorite Family Guy sketches. There could even be a boat in this box. <laughs> All right, so for for one of my level twos, I'm gonna grab uh uh, what is it called? Suggestion. Okay. Let me go back to your spells and That's I'll go a good ahead and one. Get that in there. 
The mm -hmm. is really good. It works really well with you, like, doing charm person and shit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Just remember, it's concentration. Yeah. I also have suggestion, but... I'm over Taco right. Bell was delivered by I Ashley. I, well, you lucky team, dog. Uh... Or that, that's a concentration, yeah. Never mind. Never mind. I thought yeah, I thought a constitution for a second. Wait, no. That's a completely different. Well, if you get hit while concentrating, you have to roll constitution. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this is why I'm a range boy, so I stay away. <laughs> but you could also take Warcaster as a feat, too, which is what Doozin has. So you get advantage on those con saves. Oh, uh, yeah, well, it's kind of almost a must have since. Inspire Courage is pretty good, Nolan. I was reading through that earlier. Uh, Are you doing lore or valor? I don't think he didn't pick a college yet, did he? I haven't no. picked a college yet. I'm still trying to figure so out a, a lot yeah. of stuff because there's so much with bard that I'm not used to because I've never played a bard before, so I don't know half of the things of what actually 90% of the things that are on for bard. These... I have no idea what they are. Kima, as a, just a brief question: Are all the colleges uh, player handbook? Uh, just lore and valor. Just mm -hmm. lore and valor. Okay, so I'm going to just select those two. Just lore and valor. Well, lore goes with his history stuff. Um, lore is also cool because at third level you get cutting words, um, which is awesome because um, oh, whenever cutting words is, is so cool. there's a creature within 60 feet of you that makes an attack roll, an ability check, or a damage roll, you can use your reaction to expend one of your bardic inspiration Um to roll that die and subtract it from the numbers of the creature's roll. Yeah. yeah. I think I'm going to take awesome. knock as another uh, level knock? two. Yeah. I don't think I've... What the fuck is knock? Open slots. It, it sounds up. like it. it's just like a... Oh, so, okay. Here, I, well, I'm just going to read uh, it real quick. By the way, just be careful using that spell because you can hear it from 300 feet away. What? Yeah. It, oh my god. When you cast a spell, a loud knock audible from 300 feet Wait. emanates from the target object. Holy. If you want to be loud. Hold on. It's when you want to kick in, kick in a door without. You're kicking indoors. Kick you just don't want to be door. next to it. <laughs> hmm. All right, maybe I won't take nothing. Actually, wait. Hmm. But ma it works on magical locks too. Yeah, that's the thing. Is like, it it's is... really cool for unlocking things, but, but it does give away your position pretty quickly. So that's. Well, we're the... with a huge party with two barbarians, and I guarantee Rob's gonna want to kick down a door at least six times every time. At we're... least six at times. At least six times, so Rob. You, you know just... it's true. <laughs> open the lock for him so he doesn't have to bust his toes. Yeah, it's yeah, one of those so things like where he hurt. tries to charge down the door, but then you open the lock so it just kind of Flies slams up. open and he goes straight <laughs> through the door on into whatever hell is beyond. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, Jeez. Some no, no. Uh, no so just, use press the, just use press the digitation to make another sound like in a different direction, so like you're just... the other I was way. also thinking of like I'll just take invisibility because then I don't have to be there when it happens. Yeah, exactly like a Bugs Bunny <laughs> cartoon. Doll. Jeez. Um, okay. This is yeah, yeah, hard. Get I didn't realize I was gonna have College to take of... so many spells. <laughs> you're once. level five. I know. <laughs> you're not even a wizard. Like this is this is nothing. I know. Bonus proficiencies for College of Lore is pretty cool, too. Just any three skills. You have proficiency in it now. Congratulations. <laughs> Beautiful. That's uh, great, Nolan. Prestigious digestion. Actually, wait. Detect thoughts. Uh, certain creatures. I think it would be cool just for, like, character-wise. I think I'm going to do detect thoughts. I'm not going to take knock. So I'm going to replace knock with detect thoughts. Okay. Um... And then, what is this? You're distracting strings of words, causing creatures of your choice. Uh, I like to tech thoughts. It's pretty good. And I think I'm also going to do enthrall. Cool. Is enthrall a level two? I yeah. Thought it was... It's a level two. Yeah, it's a level two. Cool. It says first level. Lots of mind control stuff. 
Yeah. Because I'm supposed to be that charming person. So then it's just like, so, they so just do I'm, what I say. Again, it says first level. Really? Because on here, it's on the player's hand. Second, it's under my second level list. Yeah, I think I'm they I'm reading, I'm, I'm reading it out of the compendium. So hang on. That's really weird. Because on 5e tools, it's listed as a second level. Let's go to the book! <laughs> so I got weird. it! Let's go to the book! <laughs> Let's go to the book! <laughs> show, show it on stream for everybody to see, Joel. Enlarge, <laughs> ensnare, and enthrall. Second level enchantment! Boom! The book it's is done. right! Compendium is wrong! <laughs> Which I'm not surprised. We're throwing it in! Cool. Now I yep, get to it's gonna put it, so here's the deal. It's putting enthrall. Okay, so I'm gonna change this real quick because enthrall is technically level two, and there's gotta be a way to change this. Ooh, his tongue. Where is it? One action, ritual, enchantment. Get that thing. You might have to just copy paste it. I'll have to copy and paste it down into level two. Yep. That's fine. Oh, it put it automatically in one? Yeah, because it's a drag and drop, right? So it just automatically puts it up there. But that's fine. We can just... Spell creates a creature you touch the ability to understand any spoken language. Moreover, only target speaks any creature. That meant... Ooh. I'm just doing a lot of copy and paste. It's fine. Hey, chat, how's it going? Copy and paste time. Quality, C-O-N-T-E-N-T. -E Ooh, I like this. this Did you guys roll for your gold already? No, I we haven't. didn't roll for gold. We just took the background. Because the, the starting thing says you either take the starting gear or roll for gold. We just took starting gear. So we just have the background gold. Uh, Yeah, but you also get your starting wealth by class. Uh, what? Yeah, so you get money for your class and you get money for your background. Alternatively, you may start with blah blah GB. Because alternatively. Your... At least in the PHP, un unless this is the thing what I was asking about. Do we get extra money for being level 5? Yeah, yeah, we were asking that er, before. So that's why we just took the standard, because I didn't feel like buying gear. I just wanted to pick it. Yeah. Mm. Oh, well, I, I think that's what he meant. Like, you get your starting wealth by class and your background, and then you can mm -hmm. use that money to buy whatever normal whatever gear. gear. Yeah. yeah well, right. So instead of doing that, I chose to just take my background gold and then basic, just take the starting basically gear. Basically, the class money yeah. covers the class equipment, so it's big one of the two. Gotcha. Cool. Okay, did you pick your level threes? I did, I did. You I'm got? gonna do Tiny Hut. Yeah, Tiny <laughs> Hut, hell yeah. <laughs> it was a tiny hut. I fucking loved, all right, I'll Lumen's read it. I tiny love Tiny Hut. hut. In a 10-foot radius, an immobile dome of force springs into existence around and above you and remains stationary for the duration. The spell ends if you leave the area. Nine creatures of medium size or smaller can fit inside the dome. The spell fails if the area includes a larger creature or more than nine. Creatures and objects within the dome when you cast a spell can move through it freely. All other creatures and objects are barred from passing through it. Spells and other magical effects can't extend through the dome or be cast through it. The atmosphere inside the space is comfortable, dry, regardless of the weather outside. Until the spell ends, you can command the interior to become dimly lit or dark. The dome is opaque from the outside of any color you choose, but it is <laughs> transparent from the inside. That and it really lasts for eight hours. Rest. That's yep. so cool. It is your long like rest. Sanctuary. That is your long rest to go. <laughs> yep. I Tiny love Hut it. is the best. Oh, I wish we had Tiny Hut in uh, in Dive Ball right now. <laughs> Tiny yes. Hut is the best. <laughs> um, And I'm also going to take tongues. Exactly, Nolan. It's a safe space. It's <laughs> like my chat, guys. Clap <laughs> and chat for safe space. <laughs> the hell is tongues tongues grants the creature you touch the ability to understand any spoken language when the target speaks any creature that knows at least one language can hear the target understand what it says okay so you touch something else and it understands something 
or can It'll speak your language. Yeah, it can. Yeah, essentially. So sure. even if I don't, if it doesn't know common or doesn't know Elvish, I can just speak to it and I can charm it in any way I please. Oh Jesus! <laughs> all right, cool. So that's all your spells. Awesome. Um. Okay, you need to pick a bard college, like a scrap man. I'm I, tired of looking around at this. I thing. don't know what the bard colleges do. Okay, you get to pick either lore or valor. Okay. All right, lore. Bard College of Lore knows something about most things. Collecting bits of knowledge from sources as diverse as scholarly tomes and peasant tales. Whether singing folk ballads in taverns or elaborate compositions in royal courts, these bards use their gifts to hold audiences spellbound. When the applause dies down, the audience members might find themselves questioning everything they held to be true, from their faith in the priesthood of the local temple to their loyalty to their king. The loyalty okay. to these bards lie in the pursuit of beauty and truth, not in fealty to a monarch or following the tenets of a deity. Any a noble who keeps such a bard as a, a herald or advisor knows that the bard would rather be an honest than would rather be honest than politic. Colleges members gather in libraries and sometimes actual colleges, complete with, complete with classrooms and dormitories, to share their lore with one another. They also meet at festivals or affairs of state, where they can expose corruption, unravel lies, poke fun at self-important figures of authority. So, if you pick College of Lore, uh, you get three bonus proficiencies in any three skills of your choice you also get cutting words you learn how to use your wit to distract confuse and otherwise sap the confidence and competence of others when a creature that you can see within 60 feet of you makes an attack roll an ability check or a damage roll you can use your reaction to expend one of your bardic inspiration points uh and you can roll your bardic inspiration die and subtract that number from the creature's roll you choose so to use this feature after the creature makes its roll, but before the DM determines whether the attack roll or ability check succeeds or fails, or before the creature deals the damage. The creature is immune if it can't hear you, or if it's immune to being charmed. Okay. And that's College of Lore. Lore, lore College East. of Valor. Bards of the College of Valor are daring scalds whose tales keep alive the memory of the great heroes of the past, thereby inspire a new generation of heroes. These bards gather in mead halls around great bonfires to sing the deeds of the mighty, both past and present. They travel the land to witness great events firsthand and to ensure the memory of those events don't pass from the world. With their songs, they inspire others to reach the same heights of accomplishment as heroes did of old. You get, uh, when you join the College of Valor at third level, you're prof you gain proficiency with medium armor, shields, and martial weapons. You also get combat inspiration. At level three, you learn to inspire others in battle. A creature that has bardic inspiration die from you can roll the die and add the number rolled to a weapon damage roll, not just the attack roll. Alternatively, when an attack roll is made against that creature, it can use the reaction to roll that bardic inspiration die to add to the number to its AC against the attack after seeing the roll but not knowing whether it hits or misses. Lore. Lore it is! Lore. All right, so pick your three proficiencies. Um, and it's in uh, like regular skills, right? Yep. Uh, Just pick any three. Any three? Let's do. You get cutting words. Fucking dope. <sighs> I get uh... the feeling Hedrich and. Whatever your character's name is, are gonna get along just swimmingly. Both are after <laughs> knowledge. <laughs> Um, let's see. I think I'm going to go with, uh, religion. Um, okay. Grab... So it's three, right? Correct. Uh, perception, because that's always helpful. And... What would insight be for? Uh, let's say you're talking to someone and you're trying to get a feel for, for how they're feeling or if what they're saying is true or mm. it gives you insight onto a person by reading their bodily features and like their voice and stuff like that. I'm going to do insight as well. Okay. All right. You also, at third level, oh get expertise. <laughs> yeah. It, welcome to level five. Jesus. The, the, the thing <laughs> with, with like playing... Uh, like a one shot and starting it at a relatively high level is like you don't grow up with this character, right? So like you just if you're playing something new, 
you just get all of this stuff thrown at you. Yeah, and you're like, yeah. well, good fucking luck, dude. And just hopefully you do it right. <laughs> um, so choose any two of your skill proficiencies. Okay. And your proficiency bonus is doubled for that oh ability check. Um, this is good training for when you get level five on Miera. Yeah, yeah, I know, right? Your proficiency bonus is doubled for any ability check you make that uses either of the chosen proficiency. And it's two? You get two. Holy shit. I think I'm going to do persuasion and deception. Okay. Persuasion and der derception. 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 Der All right, so <laughs> I'm going to go ahead. Whoa. No, hang on. I'm doing something there. People Thanks. People will do everything I say. <laughs> Persuasion is an automatic plus three. Perception is going to be an automatic plus three. Hopefully that works. So what I want you to do Can't you just is go ahead and roll Persuasion and Perception for me. Uh, Let me just no. read the rolls. It should win in the cog when, when, when there's the normal. You can just switch that to expertise. And that way you I'm sorry? Like the place where you add the uh, edit the bones. Sure. You can just switch where it says like normal on the left of the skills to expertise. Oh shit! Does that work? Oh, it does. Oh, that's even better. Also, I can just click jack of all trades. Oh, you don't even have to think uh, about it. So there uh, you go. Jack of all trades is bugged. At least in my game, it adds yeah. plus one to everything instead of just the thing it applies to. Oh. Okay, so you have to manually do those. Yeah, I keep jumping over into trades. this this cog on my on my page over on the right. Yeah, um, I keep doing that. Okay, that's me. I'm doing okay. that. I get confused. Uh, that's why I said like, stop. I said stop going back. I'm doing something. Oh, I didn't, so... I didn't catch that. I didn't catch yep. that. Okay, you add half your proficiency bonus rounded down to any ability check that doesn't include proficiency bonus. Oh Jesus. Okay, what are you proficient in? Not acrobatics, right? No, so no, you get no. a plus one there. <laughs> not animal handling, right? Not nope. that. It's not easier Arcana. To, easier to list what he is not proficient in at this point. Yeah, basically. Right, that's what I'm asking. What are you not proficient in? Uh, I have to look. <laughs> Athletics. No, you were proficient in deception because you got that from Charlatan. Yep. yep. Yeah, I deception, got deception, history, insight, intimidation, you're not proficient in. Investigation, you're not proficient in. Nope. Medicine, you're not. Nature, nope. you're not. Nope. And not survival. Um, Performance, you are. Religion, you're not. Light of hand, you are. Stealth, you aren't. Aren't. And survival, you're not. Survival. Okay. Done. Manually added jack of all trades, so you never have to think about it again. There you go. Cool. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if you still need to be on this page or not. No, so I I moved it back. I okay. <laughs> I mess. I've been messing with your sheet for for a long time now. I know. I'm just like ah, uh, because it, it like, okay. We'll sometimes do it on my do it, and I'm like. What's happening? <laughs> yup. Uh, okay. Cool. So, at level four, you can increase one ability score of your choice by two, or you can increase two ability scores by one. What do you think? <laughs> or you can take a feat. Uh, hmm. I have to take a look at the feats. Uh, I recommend you do some of them also give attributes bonuses. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. A lot of them, in fact. Because as much as I want to have 18 charisma, <laughs> as much as I want to. Magic initiate might be really good for you, actually. Yeah. Uh, gives more cantrips. Jesus, yeah, it gives you extra one, cantrip and one level one spell of another caster's class, basically. Yeah, you can decide from any caster class. Yeah, except... If you cast from that uh, classes, you need to use their spell. Um, the stat, yeah. Yeah, that, the stat that it uses. So, for example, if you're using Druid, it would be wisdom based. Would be. So just make sure you pick from either Sorcerer or Warlock. Yeah. That way it's from Charisma. Exactly. Jeez, that's a lot to think about. <laughs> or you can just put two points into Charisma, hit 18, and call it a day. I yeah. think that's what I gotta do. I think All just right. for the fun of it. 
Because it's like, then I gotta plus four figure charisma. out more magic stuff, and I'm like, that's so much magic for me right <laughs> hey, now. We did a one shot, and I was the first time for me playing a druid, and I played a level 14 druid. Oh, uh, nice. Druids have way too many spells, uh, anyways, and shape shifting, and nope. Done. It would take like if I really wanted to do something like that, it'd have to take like if that'd have to take me like okay, I need a week to figure all this out. <laughs> I I basically studied all the spells for an entire week and was like, okay, that's what that does. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna do the, the two to charisma. There we go. 18 charisma score. <laughs> all right. Beautiful. Uh, you're done. That's it. Fantastic. We did. We did it. We did all the fucking things. And I have 15 Woo! GP just so just so I'm clear on. That. That's, that's yeah, my... you have 15 gold points because we didn't buy your starting stuff. You yep. just took the starting. Cool. Sounds good. Um, we have healing word in there twice for some reason. Hang on a second. That's weird. I don't care. It can stay. It doesn't matter. They're both the same. Um. Okay. Cool. So that. That's that. I suppose. Uh, and you can change your name whenever you want. Lenore, uh, it's been a while. How are you? What do we need to What do we need to do for you here, huh? Um, well, that nineteen dexterity, Jesus. Yep. Uh, I'm a dexy one. Yeah, I see that. How? Very carefully. How? I had a 15. <laughs> I am a wit elf, so I get a plus two, and ah. then I took the ASI, another plus two. Ah. Jeez. Wow. So wait, what's All your, right. what's your, you still have your deck a, score? Worse armor class than me, which makes me sad. Do you have no armor? Um. Yeah, currently no items on. Ah, that is fine. Yeah. Which actually, and I was like, do I take the mail or do I take the leather? I was like, I'm proficient in stealth. I. Hmm. But 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 like um, the. Magic casting penalty is not a thing in 5e, as long as you're proficient in that armor, it's no problem. Doesn't it give you disadvantage? No. What? It Only if you're, I think it's like, if you try to cast spells in armor that you're not proficient in, you get disadvantage. Um, no, I think scale mail armor gives you disadvantage on stealth checks. Yeah, stealth, yes. Yes, yes. I was yes. thinking spells. Yes. stealth. I know that because I have <laughs> Dude, it. And I have... You're all in the warlock thing right now, man. <laughs> yeah, but Ranger has spells. It's true. It's true. Not um, much. Okay, so what... I don't even get cantrips. This is a nope. first for me. I usually get play a caster, so this is going to be interesting. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Um, so let's, Ro let's Rangers are so the... much fun. You're regular Ranger uh, Hunter, right? Hunter, yes. Okay, so uh, you need your favorite enemy. Oh. Got it. You need to pick a favorite enemy. That's always fun. That is fun. I like this. I love you. Rangers. Uh, Rangers have any so idea cool. what you want to hate more <sighs> than anything else? Uh, people. <laughs> got people is always a good choice. I don't know. Like demons. People is always a good choice. Dragon can humanoids. That's pretty dragons. much like Let's everything. We're, gonna, we're kind of coming across dragons? something. <laughs> oh my god! If we well, fight a dragon, I'm just like running. Like, but you can select two races of humanoids. Like goblinoid or... You can go gnolls or orcs or yeah. goblins or humans or... <laughs> um, really I think Rob would humans. be offended if I took orc. I He <laughs> might be a little bit offended. If you took, a, a, if you took human, awful. we'd all be offended because we're all <laughs> half. <laughs> That's True. fine. You're all below me. It's fine. Wow. <laughs> well, you, you are an elf. To be I'm a, oh, I'm yeah. an elf. At least I'm not a high elf. Like exactly. true though. Uh, yeah. I mean, you're gonna hate me. I'm a halfy. That's gonna be terrible. yeah. That's your scum of the earth right there. Yeah, you're worse than all of us. <laughs> and here human. I am, a simple <laughs> human with a demon on my shoulder. I tolerate you. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, um. Okay. So, what is your favorite enemy? Favorite enemy. Also, actually, before we do this, I'm gonna take a quick break here. We've been we've been going for like two hours and fifteen minutes. I need more alcohol in my system, <laughs> like ASAP. <laughs> so, so, are are we too much to tolerate? This has been or? way too empty for way too long, and I got a brand new it's bottle of bourbon today. Because he had to do all the bard stuff that. with me, because I'm an idiot. <laughs> uh, it may have taken longer than expected. Yes. Uh, yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> you, didn't, like, you didn't even look. 
All right, I we're gonna take a quick break here. Uh, we will be right, right, right back. Oh, hey, look, die fall break screen. <laughs> 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 So like I'm kind of sick Welcome of back, guessing everyone. half the stuff that we've done, <laughs> and I'm like, no, I'll just leave it. I'll just leave it. <laughs> yeah. So Professor was uh, noticing that a long time ago, because I had totally forgotten I'd even done this. I posted a flow chart on like how turns work, uh, <laughs> and apparently it was never read. So that's <laughs> that's good. But as what long was as it we never know read? Now... I just like forgot that like certain things exist within it. Because I was yeah. still trying to get the grasp of how this version of the game worked when I started. So it's just it's a fine. lot to take in at I'm a time. I'm still just going to give you shit about it. It's fine. It's just hey, going to happen. That is the norm for any DM. You create all this content and nobody even reads No it. one looks! No. <laughs> I'm, I, you know, I was plummet. so, so happy that, like, because when uh, the last time on 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 die last time on die fault when you guys pulled the fucking levers and actually opened up the like the drainage system from the lake into the into the forge to <laughs> stop the fire elemental from like escaping for a limited amount of time I was like thank you they looked around the room oh my god they finally looked around the room you needed a 12 investigation check for the room to find that shit and just no one looked <laughs> nobody even asked to do like a perception check well cuz it was no like cuz they, they <laughs> The only thing they were interested in the first time they were there was the fuck. The, I mean, I get it. it. Was a big ass ruby well, yeah. in the center of their room. It's like Aladdin when he's in the like the cave of secrets yeah, or whatever the, the hell. He's like yeah. big ass ruby is just you know takes a booze attention. Yeah. So the focus is like what Whoa. I'm saying is they're monkeys, and then that's you know that's all. See, my hey, room. look, we've gone a little stir crazy. We've been in that mine for how long now? And before, so we're. We're not really focused. We're like, all right, what's the quickest way out? <laughs> I think you've actually been there in in real time uh, at least a week. Oh so my god! It's it's it's, it's a while. It's, it's, a it's while. literally the XP grind. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hallway. I mean, yeah. oh, I it's, love that it's pretty. It's pretty good. That <laughs> all right, Lenore. Lenore. What is your favored ele enemy? My favorite. My dearest enemy Lenore. Will be undead. Hell yeah! Ooh. I love it. Undead is a great one. Uh, so you have a. I'm just gonna copy and paste this. You have advantage on wisdom slash survival checks to yeah. track them. You learn one language of choice that's spoken by your favorite enemies if they speak one. I don't think they do. Do any abyssal? Infernal? Mm, I, don't, I don't think undead speak. They they know the language that they previously had in life, but they yeah. cannot speak it. Yeah. Hard to speak when you're missing a tongue yeah or breathing ca capability <laughs> or <laughs> i mean there might be one that does like uh i don't know like tel telepathy or something like that but speak i'm not sure dead. well it, what was that speak with dead is a spell yeah right but that that forces them to speak to you yeah like, i don't know if they can like actually undead language Let's see if there's any. Uh, uh, Guttural. Is that a language? <laughs> no. <laughs> Orcish? No. We're asking wow. the wrong DM. Um, asking the wrong DM. Deep it's speak. Girl. Deep speech. <laughs> I don't think they do deep speech. No, they don't. It's not a mind flayer or a beholder. And thank yeah. I hope we don't encounter that. So. All Those right. also go on the legged list. What is your uh, your favorite terrain? Favorite terrain will be forest. I mean, you're a wood elf. I'm that a makes, wood elf, yeah. That makes total sense. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put these at the top of that. That'll be forest. Favorite enemy, I'll just go ahead and put in undead. So if you need any of the other stuff, you can go ahead and take a look at it. Cool. So that's got that. That uh, fighting style. Archery. Fighting style. Yeah. I love that one. It just good. makes you really good at shooting shit. I'm going to be pew pewing things all day long. Nice. We don't need another front runner in, in Yeah, we've got team. a lot of front line I'm going gonna on here. I'm going to be in the back. Yeah, gonna you and I are going to be in the back. I'm just going to be supporting everybody. Yeah, we got a good synergy. We got two tanks. I'm basically a DPS, and then there's two as a like, ranged DPS. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, cool. 
Let me steal Spell this. casting. Oh, let's make sure. Yeah, okay, you're listed as level five here, so yeah. it looks like we're going to do some spells. What oh. would you like to have in your spell slots? You get no cantrips, but four level one spells, two level two spells, and that's it. Okay, let me pull up the list here. Cure wounds is always a good one. Uh, da -da -da -da. Ranger, where are you? Ranger. Okay, um, yeah, I think because we don't have a healer, we're going to have to take some cure wounds. It's always a good pick. Um, Miara can attest to how effective cure wounds has been in the last, I don't know, Well, day. I mean, in the, I used it three times and only gained ten health, so... <laughs> Sorry, but get... you, like, max cured your panther, so that's No, I cool. did, I did. Uh, All I right, what's next? Four <laughs> level ones, right? Correct, four okay. of them. I don't know, should I take Goodberry? Oh, yeah. Goodberry, home of the Goodberry. Can I get your order? <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love Goodberry. It's whole, I love Goodberry like I love the uh, the, the tiny fun. hut, man. It's super cool. <laughs> Ten berries appear in your hand and are infused with magic for the, for the duration. A creature can use the action to eat a berry. Eating a berry restores one hit point. And the berry provides enough nourishment to sustain a creature for one day. Mm -hmm. That would be so good to have right now. <laughs> I know. Man, I but wish you you could have taken good berry. Because oh, no. it's because it's a one shot, I'm just thinking like if we go out of combat and need to heal up really quickly, I can just be like, here. Here. All of the berries. Yeah. That's <laughs> what I'm thinking. Oh, we also we also have the song of rest too, which is super True. useful on short rests. Um, okay, and then we're gonna go... Fucking Goodberry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Fucking Goodberry, home of a Goodberry, can I get your order? Was that a, a Goodberry burger there, Doozy? It was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I may have realized I haven't eaten anything in, like, in forever. <laughs> forever? It took me so long. That's a long time. Okay, um, good. What do you think? Uh, You're gonna take Goodberry? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. All right, Goodberry it is. I don't know. I mean, you can change your stuff up until Friday, right? Yeah. So. Um, I think we're gonna Hunter's Mark as well. Yes. Oh yeah. I was gonna suggest that if you can. Yeah, especially as an archer. And I'm that like is... debating between Ensnaring Strike or Hail of Thorns. Both are good. Uh, I mean... wait, is Hunter's Mark concentration? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Oh. So Hail of Thorns is not, though. I can't have those both up. Hail of Thorns is a concentration. One it is concentration. Hail is? Yeah. What? Why? Yeah. It's a bonus action, though, which is great, but it's concentration. So then I lose Hunter's Mark it's if that's not up. in the compendium for some reason. The compendium seems to have a lot of... A lot of missing stuff. Yeah. It's really weird. Um... Just... Would so, get the uh, movement bonus from being an elf? Um, I get a movement bonus for being a wood elf, yes. I get an extra five feet. You could take long strider and be like... I'm yeah. Oh, you could be so fast. But I'm already fast. <laughs> you, could be, you can always be faster. <laughs> you can always be faster. This is it's true. It's true. <laughs> Paint yourself red and go extra... Wait, you're not an orc. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Paint flames on your body. Go extra fast. Um, I don't know. What do you think, guys? Ensnaring strike or hail of thorns? So, well, like, raw in... damage or more utility? I mean, ensnaring strike basically it's like board control, right? Because you basically ensnaring strike would be cool because then it's like if somebody's trying to get away from like Rob or Joel, they can't. Or me. Plus Hail of Thorns, if you shoot it at anything that's like... Because it's a 10-foot radius. I think it's a 10-foot radius. But see, I'm thinking if you guys are melee and I cast Ensnaring Strike, that's going to screw you guys up. Oh, is that is that have a, a radius as well? Uh, It's a radius, yeah. But this. if like you go in it, uh, it can restrain you if you don't pass a strength no, check. No, ensna Ensnaring Strike is only for the target. Is it? I'm reading in Snaring Strike. One bonus action. Next time you hit a creature, a writhing mass of thorny vines appears at the point of impact, and the target must succeed on a strength saving throw. 
It doesn't say if it's an ally or... It just says a target. Whatever yeah. you hit with this. Yeah. Like and if then you... you can concentrate on it to it for a minute. I think it's basically like if you pass through it. You know what I mean? When yeah. You, you shoot at something and the vines come out, it's ensnaring that creature. Yeah. And if it gets loose, the things just disappear. They don't remain. They don't remain? No. If the target succeeds on the save, the vines shrivel away. So it's a, it's a target snare, not an area snare. And it, oh, while okay. you maintain it, it takes damage at the start of every one of its turns. Oh, what Jeez. spell am I thinking of then? Uh, Plant growth? Is that what I'm thinking of? I think you're just thinking of ensnare. Or, uh... It might be that... Or spike growth, I think, is what I was thinking of. Yes, I was thinking spike growth. Sorry. Okay. I got well, we're, mixed we're on up. the same page. Cool. Um, what do you think? Daring strike actually looks really good. Um, actually, I think I'm going to go Hail of Thorns. Okay, raw damage. Uh, this Whoa. is not in the compendium. I'm going to have to man manually enter this. Oh, Hail sorry. of Thorns. It's so okay. I spelled it Thrawns. Hail, Hail of Thrones. Uh, what is... Yeah. I mean, it's, it's got some, like, it just randomly doesn't have some stuff, and I don't understand that a lot of times. Yeah, I guess for, for, for you, you have to make, you'll have to make a choice, right? Like, if you're going to maintain Hunter's Mark or if you're going to cast one of these things. Yeah. So. But I don't get a whole bunch of spell slots either, so. Mm -hmm. Technically, it... you could use Hunter's Mark to hit it and then swap to Ensnaring Strike because it's on the hit switching to ensnaring strike right but then you'd lose the cast from hunter's mark because hunter's mm -hmm. mark you can yes, move from thing to thing right? yeah so like if the thing that you're hitting like drops dead i can just use a uh, bonus action i think to flip it over to a new target yes yeah so okay, okay. and then for my level two um oh should i get dark vision for you humies <laughs> that would help. Well, no, I thought you were an elitist, right? Why do you care about the humans? But maybe you're just because we've been like, right? We've been traveling together for a year. Maybe you're sick of the humans not being able to see in the dark. Yeah, maybe. Just absolutely sick of it, and you're just like, F I'm taking dark vision. <laughs> Look, if I had a gnome artificer, I'd be yeah. goggles. <laughs> I could have um, gotten, gotten goggles. like a hundred and twenty feet dark vision through. Uh, the fiend, but I decided not to take it. Oh. Oh, I think we're gonna go pass without a trace, because that will oh, be yeah. very I helpful. Freak, I love pass without a trace. Oh, yeah. it's so good. And we're. It's it. Mm. Uh, okay, I love this. Go to your compendium, type in pass without without trace, and it shows up twice. So some things they don't have in here at all, and some things they have twice. in here twice. Twice. With with different capitalizations that's literally <laughs> the difference here i think they're working out there they yeah. got some kinks yeah it's all right uh i don't know should i take dark vision or find traps what are your you other here hang dark? on what are your other options uh, let's see level two level two so we got animal messenger you know, bark skin you might find traps either way beast sense cordon of arrows what the hell is that Cordon of Arrows. You, you plant four pieces of non-magical ammunition in the ground, lay magic upon them, protect an area until the spell ends. Whenever a creature other than you comes within 30 feet of the ammunition, one piece of the ammunition flies up to strike it. It's lit You set traps. It's a trap. Creature must succeed a dex save or take 1d6 piercing. Piece of ammunition is then destroyed. Spell ends when no ammunition remains. When you cast a spell, you can designate any creatures you choose, and the spell ignores them. It's like alarm. So we'll set traps it's alarm, but it does outside damage. of Tiny Hut like, and be fine. It's like Demon Hunter traps in Diablo 3. Yeah, 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 <laughs> When you're yeah. like, psh, psh, psh. Yeah. So we'll uh, set yeah. traps or outside Tiny Hut the Assassin from Diablo 2 expansion. <laughs> uh, okay, and then you have Dark Vision, Find Traps, Lesser restora rest Restoration, Locate Animals and Plants. Locate Object is pretty good. That's what that Trace already doing. Protection from Poison, Silence. Spike growth, which is the other one that you were reading. Which is pretty awesome. 
Bike growth. Bike growth. Uh, the ground in a 20 foot 20 radius. 20 foot radius. Jeez. Centered on a point within range, twists and sprouts, spikes and thorns. The area becomes difficult terrain for the duration. Um, when a creature moves into or within the area, it takes 2d4 piercing damage for every five feet every it travels. Step. Every step. So that's like super ground control. Yeah, but it's also but it's like, we can't go after them. Exactly. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're you talking about two that. barbarians taking half damage on this anyways, boys. We're going in. Then, One have, way or another. You have tank worthy health, and I, I can always, always do <laughs> pew pew with my fingers. I feel like you guys aren't going to be very be stealthy, better. though. So maybe well, pass we don't that. have we don't have armor, right? So we don't at we at least don't have disadvantage on our stealth. True. Plus, so the way that that uh, Rob and I have de designed our background, I'm not sure if Rob's even still in here, but we <laughs> we were we we're essentially uh, like former monster hunters and stuff like that. So we would know how to move stealthily and you know survive and do that kind of thing. It, 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 the barbarian rage takes over in the fight, but up until that point, neither of us are dumb, right? Well, except I haven't done point by yet, so I might end up being dumb. Who knows? Um, I haven't bought my scores. Okay. Well, it gives you a plus 10 bonus to dex stealth checks. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's, it's pretty new. hard so, to So fail. what are you thinking? Spike growth? I, th I think Cordon of Arrows is actually really cool. Um, but it's spike growth cool. is a lot of control. And it lasts for eight hours. That's yeah. pretty amazing. Yeah. It, well, like I said, it's alarm, but it does damage. Yeah. So we'll set so... up. We'll set up a long rest with tiny hut, <laughs> and then set up the. Uh, oh. Oh, the is, this, is this the guy? This is hey. the DM. Hi, guys. Hey, don't get ah! us killed. <laughs> don't get us killed. He I know says, don't right get us killed. <laughs> it's a one shot. He can kill us. Um, where you're <laughs> sort of pleading for the day. <laughs> yeah. Um. Ah, I don't know. I'm so torn, guys. What do you think I should do? Roll a D two. Or okay. should I take silence? Because I don't want to hear you guys. I'm kidding. Wow. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, and if you cast silence, then all of a sudden, uh, Professor's character is literally useless. <laughs> so yeah. it's just like yeah, he doesn't do anything anymore. <laughs> Yeah. He'd be like, well, I could hit them with my with my <laughs> viol, but I don't know if it's gonna do a whole like, lot. I got a crossbow bolt. Uh, yeah. Whether or not I can hit them is another story. It's like this is all I say. Now. I say no, no. either you either pick. Me, so. <laughs> but if you can't pick, roll for it. Uh, okay. Okay. Flip a coin. Flip a coin. Somebody roll yeah. for me. All right, slash R one D two. Here we go, boys. Two. It's gonna be uh, the thorns. Yeah, that's the one lower on the list. So spike growth. Spike growth. Spike it growth. Is. It is. Cool. 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 We have protection during long rest. <laughs> no, this is not that one. No, that's not cordon oh, of arrows. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is this is the in the middle. Like if we're ever in a big area and we need to cut off a large chunk of it, we can. That's how we're gonna do it. Yeah. Cool. Awesome good stuff. I love All it. right, uh, so that's spells. Cool, we're good with that. Uh, so let's see what else you got to do. What's love got to do with it? All right, so now you're the hunter. You have a hunter's prey. What is your prey? Ew. Humans. Uh, you can emulating the hunter <laughs> archetype means accepting your place as a bulwark between civilization and the terrors of the wilderness. As you walk the hunter's path, oh. you learn specialized techniques for fighting threats you face. From ogres to hordes of orcs to towering giants and terrifying dragons. The Colossus Giant Killer. Yeah. Oh, Horde Breaker. I forgot that's what these were. Uh, I already picked Colossus Slayer. Colossus Slayer it is. So the Colossus Slayer, for those of you at home that aren't reading this currently. Your tenacity can wear down the most potent foes. When you hit a creature with a weapon attack, the creature takes an extra 1d8 damage if it's below maximum. Wow, so it's an execution. You deal the extra damage once per turn. So that's actually huge. So I'm going to be the finisher of yeah, that's, whatever that's you guys hit and don't kill. Super execution. I loved Horde Breaker too. Like, it's hilarious when, like, there's just a shit ton of stuff in front of you. And you're like, okay, all 20 of these goblins get an arrow on this turn. And then you just, like, go for it. <laughs> but it'll be good because uh, Wait, I have 
spike growth now, so I have AoE, so Horde yeah. Breaker doesn't so, seem as necessary. So, dudes, in Horde Breaker, once on each of your turns when you make a weapon attack, you can make another attack with the same weapon against a different creature within five feet. So you can attack two different things that are next to each other. Oh. Oh. And then Giant Killer is the larger, larger creature. Uh, within five feet of you hits or misses, you can use your reaction to attack it. Uh, which is better if you're not ranged. Uh, cool. I like Colossus. It's good. So that's there. Primeval Awareness. So many abilities. There's so many abilities. Mm -hmm. Prime. How do I spell this? Evolve. Prime Evolve Awareness. Beginning at third level, you can use your action to ex and expend one ranger spell slot to focus your awareness on the region around you. For one minute per level of the spell slot, you can sense whether the following types of creatures are present within one mile of you or up to six miles if you're in favor of terrain. Aberrations, Celestials, Dragons, Elementals, Fey, Fiends, and Undead. Feature does not reveal location or number. You're just aware of them being there. That's cool. You can be like, hang on. It's over there. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's like, wow, I feel a strong presence of some shit going down in this general direction. Yeah. But I had to use one of my spell slots. Damn it! Right? Yeah. This way comes. All right. Oh, that's right. We're fifth level, so you get an extra attack. So not only do you have the Colossus thing, you get an extra attack. Holy so God. good. Freaking a. Why don't I see those? On the pew pew. There are two pews in pew, you pew. You don't? Mm -hmm. On the class? <laughs> Dude, can you wear a shirt? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's taking them. <laughs> well, we now I now know more about what my DM looks like than I ever think I actually wanted to. Now we are going to die. <laughs> huh. Well. Sorry. <clears throat> Tell him his summer body's looking good. <laughs> you can oh suck up God. yourself. <laughs> that, that's how we're opening the show on Friday. Hell yeah, <laughs> but I'm like, hey man, I saw them titties <laughs> looking pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. He said your summer bod's looking pretty hot. <laughs> uh, okay. So we got your extra attack. We need level four ability score improvement or feat. Oh, ASI. ASI. All right. So I already you, did it. Did you already do why... it? Oh, that's right. That's for dex. Cool. That's why cool, 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 the 19, cool. yes. So what we need to do now is we need to get your gear. We have not geared you up yet. Okay. Uh, have you done per? Yeah, you done all your proficiencies. You're good there. Um, so you need your equipment. So scale mail or leather armor. Uh, I don't want the disadvantage, but we have passed without a trace, so I don't know. Do you have proficiency in stealth? I mean, you're gonna be at range anyways, right? So let's yeah. see. Okay, let's let's take leather armor and let's slap it on your body and see what happens. Right. So you go. You have a 15 armor class. Instead of 16. Instead of 16. So you're one point down, but you're supposedly at range, right? Yeah. So we'll just do leather. Okay. Leather it is. Uh, two short two short swords. Okay. Short swords. A longbow, 20 arrows. I will go with the explorer's pack. Wait, hang on. Oh, that's fucking proficiencies. I hate how they change where this shit is. They added all these stupid proficiencies as dragon drops, but they didn't add, like, more background choices. Are you freaking kidding me? Mm -hmm. Uh, okay. So you said Explorer's Pack? Yes. Okay. Uh, I get mm -hmm. Artisan's tools, and I'm kind of like... Hmm. That is pretty cool. Uh, um, and Longbow. I'm going to go with Painter's tools. Nice. I like that. Because um, said, uh, my folk hero back story is going to be that I'm known as the Black Arrow, and I paint all my arrows black. Ooh, I like it. Man, we got two Edge Lords in the in the in the group right now. I love <laughs> it. I paint my arrows black, like my eyes. <sighs> you wouldn't understand, Mom and Dad. <laughs> it's not uh, a phase; it's a way of life. <laughs> right. So, so did you uh, on purpose have the uh, land vehicles in here as a proficiency, or? Uh, I feel like that was the thing that I got. Yes. Uh, it says, oh, one type of artisan's tool. Well, no, it says I get both. 
Is that how from... Like, how the fuck do you spell vehicle? I can't think. Vehicle? V-E-H-I-C-L-E-S. -E okay, cool. Jeez, I keep looking at it, and I'm like, no, nope, that cannot be right. All right, so what's your, your proficient in it? Uh, I, I assume it's dex, right? That would make sense. Land vehicles. Maybe. Because it's going to be like carts and wagons and shit. Or maybe it's like animal handling. I'm not sure. Is it uh, from we'll Folk Hero, Cardino. maybe? I don't know. Oh, yeah. That would be Folk Hero. I think it's sure. from Folk Hero, yeah. Yeah, that would be Folk Hero. I'm going to go ahead and go find that background so we can check that we have everything from that, too. Um, folk Hero. So animal handling, survival, one type of artisan's tools, and land vehicles. Yep. Yeah. So you said your artisan tools that you want is a, a painting set, right? Painting tools, yeah. Painter's tools. I can actually put these land vehicles in there automatically. I love it. That's cool. And then the features. I didn't add the features for that. Uh, so my folk hero feature. Commoners are willing to shelter you from some trouble. Mm-hmm. Um, no, I didn't. I didn't finish the elf features. Oh, okay. Um, I forgot to add can hide while lightly obscured by natural phenomena. I want to make sure that we got all your ranger stuff done. I think we did. Favorite enemy fighting style, ranger archetype, ability score improvement, extra attack. Cool. Uh, we got all of these abilities down there done. Also cool. All right, let's pick up. Let's do full cure because I've got it in front of me right now. Um, so you got your painters, painters tools, and ve land vehicles, animal handling, and survival are picked. Okay. Uh, one set of artist's tools. You said it was going to be painters. Yep. Okay. That is now in your set. Um, a shovel. Why do I have a shovel? I don't freaking know. Maybe you're the one that digs latrines, man. I'm not I'm not gonna fight <laughs> yeah, you on it. I always found it weird that shovels in there too. It's it's to bury the small animals. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the no, it's to bury the dead your dead enemies after you put black arrows in them because yeah. you're super fucking morbid about that kind of thing. <laughs> iron pot. I really wonder if this is in Oh my god, the iron pot is in the compendium. There it is! Woo! What am I going to do wow. with an iron pot? Cook. Cook things. Cook, cook things, your good berries. But I'm not proficient in cook's tools. You don't need to be proficient in cook's tools to make a soup. Come on. Yeah, that would be like gourmet food. Uh, set a common clothes in a belt pouch with 10 GP. I'll make Ten. good berry soup for you guys. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll yeah. season it with prestigitation. <laughs> Pressy. Yeah. Oh my god. That'll be so delicious. <laughs> <laughs> it's basically all of it's a... fake. All of it's just magic. It's are you all like, just magic. Yeah. Are you like Emerald? You're like bam. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you don't got, say bam my, every no, time, I change my con, <laughs> my scam. <laughs> We're opening a fake restaurant. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> all right, folk hero, rustic, rustic hospitality. Literally just copying and pasting that in there. Um, I mean, you, you, if you need to invoke it, it's there. Yeah. Uh, okay, cool. Uh, specialty. What did you say your special? Did you say it was uh? Sorry, specialty. What, is... what are you talking? Yeah, about? perhaps as a farmer, miner, servant, shepherd, woodcutter, or grave digger. So, what was your specialty prior to becoming the folk hero that you are? Oh wow, I didn't pick that. So it, they just give a bunch of examples. You can pick whatever. Like, you could have been like, oh, I was a bartender, or some shit. Right, like that was your specialty. They tend to they give some stuff that's like, oh, it takes you know a bit of a bit of uh, what ability I, to do. Okay, uh, where are my options? What where is this? Uh, so underneath feature rustic hospitality, it says specialty. You previously pursued a simple profession among the peasantry, perhaps as a farmer, miner, servant, shepherd, woodcutter, or grave digger. Hmm. I'm thinking grave digger because you have a shovel. I have and a the shovel. Your arrow is black. Yeah. So I'm. Mm, mm, okay. I don't know. Let's go with Grave Digger. You really? All right, Grave Digger. Jeez. <laughs> Choose or randomly determine a defining event that marked you. Okay, so you are a Grave Digger. Down, down, at some down, point. down, down. Not that down, it matters. Down, down, it's just some background. Down, down, down. Uh, 
What was your defining event? That's under background, isn't it? Yes, all of this is under background. Uh, okay. I did say I was going to do background first because it yes, was in front of me. Sorry. It's all right. Um, I don't have it in front of me. What page is it on? Uh, I have it up in... F uh, sorry, I can try to find it. Oh, that works. I see it on your screen now. Uh, uh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, yeah, no worries. Stood up to tyrants' agents, saved people during a natural disaster, stood alone against a terrible monster, stole Three. from a corrupt merchant. There it is. That's why you have the Colossus. Stood against a terrible monster, and I dug his grave. Grave digger. <laughs> After I pierced a black arrow into his eye. <laughs> yeah. After I, I dug his And grave. then I turned on my <laughs> chemical <laughs> romance <laughs> and sang <laughs> the night away. <laughs> yep. And then, then you have your, your backup singing and a uh, folk band uh, in the back with the We're going to sing it drum. painted black. We're going to do bluegrass yeah. music. Because we have play, a viola, we have a, a mandolin, guitar. <laughs> and a mandolin. <laughs> and a with a mandolin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what is your what is your personality trait? Judge people by their actions, not words. Someone is in trouble, always ready to lend help. When I set my mind to something, I follow through no matter what is in my way. Strong sense of fair play, always try to find the most equitable solution. Confident in my own abilities and do what I can to instill confidence. Thinking is for other people, I prefer action. Misuse long words and attempt to sound smarter. <laughs> I get bored easily. When am I going to get on with my destiny? Number one. Okay, judge people by actions, not their words. Perfect. Uh, ideals. Respect. People deserve to be treated with dignity and respect. Fairness. No one should get pre preferential treatment before the law, and no one is above the law. Freedom. Tyrants must not be allowed to oppress the people. Might. If I become strong, I can take what I want, what I deserve. Sincerity. There's no good in pretending to be something I'm not. Destiny. Nothing and no one can steer me away from my higher calling. Number one. If I'm a grave digger, I feel like that would be like if I would... Oh, yeah. I just totally... Oh, I imagine after a battle and you're picking out your arrows, the ones that you can recover or whatever, you like you yeah. place flowers on each of the corpses or something like Put that. Put copper like... pieces on their eyes. Yeah. Oh, like... my God. Oh, every time. Yep. For the... Gra so, yeah. So that's yeah, why yeah. is so broke. Yeah, this is... Yeah. <laughs> No, this I'm just really bad broke. with money. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, Mr. Fancy Pants goes and collects the coins after I leave. But then I spend it right <laughs> after. She's like, slide up hand. She's not watching. Oh, my God. So I just noticed this because I'm going to call her out about it because she just texted me. Megan's not in the chat right now, but she's watching. And she's like, am I looking at the face of the Doozin? Like, oh. the Doozin? <laughs> yeah, that is the Doozin. Am, am, am I somehow that's, a thing that's now? It. Yeah, you're 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 a you're a you and you and Q are like well-known no, people now. It's like it's a thing. It's great, girl. You don't know where I. There she is. Hi, Megan. Everyone, say hello to Megan in the chat. Hi, Hi Megan. Megan. LQ does does painting the arrows take time? Uh, probably downtime. I mean, you get yeah. two hours of your long rest. She probably spends a lot of it painting arrows. I'm not used to this kind of attention. <laughs> <laughs> uh, scare me away at this rate. <laughs> no, nah, you man, blushing? you're in here now. Are you blushing? <laughs> I Don't scare him away. We, we need our warlock. Maybe. Don't do this. We can't Let lose another one. Magic. Let me be brooding. <laughs> Let, me be, yeah. Let me be edgy. I, I'm a fin. My personal space is the size of a room. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Oh god. Come to my hut, Dozen. We'll be fine. Come to my <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. All right. Okay, can, so that was your uh your ideal. Let's let's keep rolling. Let's keep rolling. Bonds. Uh I have a family. I have no idea where they are. I hope one day to see them again. I worked the land, love the land, and will protect the land. A proud noble once gave me a horrible beating, and I will take my revenge on any bully. That's evil. My tools are symbols of my past life. I carry them with me so that I will never forget. Protect those who cannot protect themselves. And I wish my childhood sweetheart had come with me to pursue my destiny. Of grave digging? <laughs> no, your destiny is you did something better, right? You did something bigger. <laughs> also, grave digging. 
Uh, oh, great. So, you were a grave you digger once, and right. now you are a full your, hero. Your true destiny is to dig the biggest grave <laughs> for the largest dragon to have yes! ever walked the earth. Yes! And you will kill that dragon and with a black a painted arrow. Hey, and now it, it makes sense that my favorite enemy is undead. There you go. Yeah, because you got to put them back in the ground. I got to put them back they in belong. there. Yeah. That's all right. Treat the bodies with dignity. From, so help me. <laughs> 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 um, All right. What okay, is it? Well, I feel like I will protect the land. So number two. You work the land, also known as the graves. You love the <laughs> land, also known as the graves, and you will protect the land, also known also as the known graves. As the graves. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Floss. The tyrant who rules my land will stop at nothing to see me killed. The grave digger for some reason. I'm convinced of the significance of my destiny and blind to my shortcomings in the risk of failure. The people who knew me when I was young know how know my shameful secret, so I can never go home again. I have a weakness for the vices of the city, especially hard drink. Secretly, I believe that things would be better if the tyrant, if I were a tyrant lording over the land, and I have trouble trusting my allies. Hmm. Wow. We'll go with number four. Awesome. I have a weakness for the vices of the city, especially hard. Do you know, like, okay, so this is both you and Professor Sacrum, because Professor is, man, I have trouble holding on to money. I go buy a whole lot of stuff. And <laughs> I'm going to be like, I need a freaking drink after this. <laughs> yep. Oh, God. A we're hard gonna, one. We're going to be so broke. Oh, geez. Okay. It's a one shot. <laughs> It's a one shot. Okay. Uh, really, really cool. I have a feeling she's going to have multiple. Yeah, well, yeah. Well, we'll well, she is going to have multiple shots. <laughs> I Dizzy get multi attacks. Oh, yes. <laughs> that was good. That was good. Dizzy, Dizzy get out. That was good. <laughs> that was uh, like... Oh, yeah, that's right. It might be Q in disguise. <laughs> oh, yeah, it could be Q in disguise. Oh, my God. All right, cool. So I think that. That's oh we need to do your your L stuff. There was some of that left, right? Oh yes. Um I didn't Oops. add all of the features there. Uh mm. so you have you have L features in there, so you have darkness, immune to magic, sleep, and charm, meditating, perception, perception proficiency. I'm just gonna put them under L features since you already have some of these in here. Yep. Um France, you have language. Did you already pick your languages? Elven and common. Yep. Okay. Elf weapon training, longsword, you've got that. Fleet of foot, that's the one that needs to go in here. So, yeah, so do I get an extra language because of the undead thing? Uh, there, no, hang on, I'll, I'll, I'll read that in a second. And then you get Mask of the Wild. I'm gonna go ahead and put both of those in there before we, we go away from this page here real quick. Uh, so those are now all in there under elf features. So there you go. Mm -hmm. Uh, let's go up to... Uh, Ranger. I think you get you get something. Because not... we had the same issue with uh, Professor's mm -hmm. Ranger because beasts don't speak a language. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I'm trying to remember I I what. Language. Well, unless you what took like meant. Orin or something, but that's more like a prime, like a like an air elemental language. Mm -hmm. It's not. And what was that if the enemy does not. Have a language, you just don't get a language. Yeah, oh, that's really? Because I don't that have what a it second is? language. Yeah. Okay. Because I only have Elvish in common on on Miara. Yeah, you gain you learn one language of your choice that is spoken by your favorite enemies if they speak. Ah, uh, gotcha. Mm. Yep. My work around it was speak with animals. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. Okay, I think that's Lenore. Cool. Neat. Look at that. Uh oh, you already rolled your hit points, so that's all good. Yep. Awesome. I'm squishy compared to you guys. Jesus, six. Well, I think four. Rob and I might. Too. I think Rob and I might have to re-roll. I'm gonna go ahead and actually check his sheet real quick. Well, if you just um, do, you want help with your um, point buy? Um, yeah, I'm gonna do my point buy as well. Okay, Is I can you help don't with have that. To switch anything but like the stuff you get from the. Uh... Okay, so he went negative in charisma. So he did do the point by, and he kept his hit points because he kept his constitution as, as high as possible. Yeah, that was what I was going okay. for. But you, you don't have to, like, hibernate. 
roll the HP, just adjust the constitution bonus. Okay. Okay, so it looks like he took care of his. Cool. All right, yeah, I need to look at my point by, <clears throat> because apparently I haven't done that. Um, okay, so is how am I gonna? <laughs> it makes me sad to take these all away. All right, here we go. We're gonna put eight in everything. Okay, you are a half elf. Half so I elf. Get ten half elf. Barbarian background is what? Entertainer. 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 Yep, yep, yep. So, uh, let's buy. All right. Oh boy. Strength. Uh, I was gonna go dex base, but I could do strength. I was gonna go dex base because of entertainer, but. Oh okay. So I think I'm gonna do dex still. I I kind of like that. Plus, it's good for your unarmored, uh, armor class. So what was it? It's like it's up to thirteen without penalty. <clears throat> uh yeah, after thirteen you get each point costs two points. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put Dex and Con both up to thirteen. Uh so that's five each, right? So that's ten now, so I have seventeen left. Is that right? Sorry, where did you put them? Uh Dex and Con. Up to thirteen for both. Dex and con to thirteen. You have seventeen points left. Okay, 17 left. Uh, I get a plus two on charisma, and I get plus one on two that I pick. Mm -hmm. Where's the plus? The plus two bonus comes in at 14, right? The ASI, yes. yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool. Um, well, shoot, I don't want to be a dummy. <laughs> um, did I pick anything? I did pick some wisdom-based stuff, and I picked some charisma-based stuff. So I think I'm going to put Wisdom up. But I have 17 left, right? 17, yes. Well, what happens if I go up to 12 here? Okay. Here, did you, might... did you check what they recommended in the quick build? Nah. No? This is... Nah. This is on the fly. <laughs> uh, okay. So Wisdom, 12. So that was four more. So I have 13 left. 13 left. Uh, yeah, it just says, first put your highest ability score in strength, followed by constitution. Second, mm -hmm. choose the outlander background. Yeah. Well, that, that's essentially what we did with Rob. So yeah. I want something different since we're going to be twins, but opposites. So, uh, so I have 13 left, right? I just said that. So if I do... I kind of want to bring my intelligence up. Be smart, boy. Mm. At least just a little bit. So I think, like, we'll ten, I just don't want a negative it. to it. I think I might just do 10. I find I find quick builds boring because they're they're very minimaxed. Yeah. Well, I, I kind of just, I, again, the basis of the whole thing is that we're opposites, right? So, like, that's that's this is me trying to balance that out. Did you pick all um, finesse weapons? Yeah. Yeah, you have a rapier. Mm-hmm. Um... Rapier? I thought you had a scimitar. Uh, no, I went rapier because it does more damage. <laughs> <laughs> so you're the classy, Weird. classy sailor. Yeah. Hell yeah. Um, okay. This is the min maxing episode. This is it right here. <laughs> um, I, 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 I've been back and forth on rapier or or scimitar, but I, I'm just gonna hold rapier for now. Um, charisma. I think I'm gonna go to twelve. That's another four. So I went 13. Charisma, so that 12. was 12. So that's nine. So in, up to 12. Would... You have 13 left. After I do the charisma one or when, after, when I do After it? charisma, yeah. I have if 13 you... remaining still? Yep. Well, huh. you, you probably like want to up your strength. Yeah. Well, to what? Just neutral? Um, if I use a finesse weapon, to it doesn't 10, matter. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I to go to ten. Uh, for Dex and Con, because this is me ignoring strength. Um, yeah, you probably I've... want your highest one to fifteen, right? Yep. So that's so to get this one to to get Dex to fifteen, 
It takes four points, right? So I have nine remaining after this? Yes. Okay. And I kind of want to get my constitution to 15 as well. Okay, so then five. So I have five remaining. Yep. So you five have... Remaining. That's pretty good. You have two stats there at an eight, right? Oh, you put intelligence to 10. Sorry, I didn't see that. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you have three left. I have three left. Okay, I have three. What can I do with three? Uh, I can put intelligence as plus one. I can get wisdom. Doesn't really change anything. Charisma, I get the plus two on it anyway, so it, might, it goes up to plus two with the bonus. Oh, so then why did you do... You want to just lower that one to Which one? ten? Charisma? Because you get two. You get plus two anyway. Right, so then my charisma bonus is two instead of one. With the plus two. I want the charisma bonus high. Oh, okay. Yeah, I want that. Because, again, oh, uh, we're, if we're playing, playing opposites. Yep, okay. playing opposites. That makes sense. Um, um, I think I'm going to leave strength. I, I don't care about strength. How much do I have left again? Uh, You have three. Three. Uh, and well, everything I, above 13 you're, is... You're proficient in perception, so, I mean, you don't really need the wisdom. True, Which is, and it doesn't get me anything else. So I think intelligence here? Or strength. Do you want to grapple anything? Are you going to be grappling? No. 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 I'm. I. I know how. I'm, I know what I'm. What I'm going to play. How I'm going to play this character. So, but that's. So that's that. And then I. So I could put something at thirteen. But I'm not going to get any bonus for it because Dex and Constitution are going to get the plus ones. Charisma gets its plus two. So you're gonna do plus one to Dex and Con for your your extra for plus half elf. one. Yeah. Isn't that right? I get two of those, right? Yep. You get plus two charisma and then plus one to two of your skills. Uh huh. So yeah, so they're gonna get both of those. Okay. Um so I'm gonna go ahead and put those at sixteen. And I think I have I have two points remaining. Um, I don't think you should put them at sixteen. I think it'll do it automatically, won't it? It, because it hasn't, because I'm already I'm already here. It doesn't do it. Oh, okay. I'm, yeah. Oh, really? For, for whatever reason, it doesn't do it. That's so. weird. Yep. Some of these are really weird. <laughs> um. So three points. So left. my point by I have three points. Three points. Mm -hmm. Wait, wisdom okay, so is that what? Oh, you wisdom twelve. Yeah, I said that. Oh, sorry. Two. Did I miss something? Uh, you can't go up to twelve. You don't have enough points. Okay, so to get to wisdom 11. to 12, I can go to 11. Okay, so intelligence is going to be... Intelligence 10. is 10, yes. Intelligence is 10, and then 9, 0? Is a 8. Yeah. So 9 doesn't change anything, so if it stays in 8, so I have a free point just floating right now. Right? I have one, I have one point remaining. Um, hang on. Sorry, it's doing it differently for me because underneath it says the plus two to charisma, so I have to just Ooh. um eleven. Sorry, yeah, it's not. It doesn't. It's not autoing for me. Oh, uh, your wisdom should be eleven, not twelve. Even if the intelligence is ten. Yes, it it sure. couldn't go up. You didn't have enough points, and then your constitution. Your constitution, you brought it to 16, yeah, with your plus one. And then your dex is also a plus one, so it should be 16, yeah. And then your dex, and then your strength is eight, yep. That's everything. That's all you can do. Shit. I want that one point in wisdom. <laughs> Fuck. Um. No, it's fine. It'll be fine. Uh, cool. Okay, so that's point by. Uh, and then for my level four, I was going to take the ASI. Okay. Which is two points into one or one point into two, right? Uh, one sec. I can check. We'll do I think my choice was I was going to go 18 decks. Barbarian. Level up. Barbarian. 
I don't know what you picked. I'm just going to click Berserker for no reason. I, I mean, they should be the same level four. That's the thing. Okay, so your ASI, you get... Uh, increase one by two or two by one. Select one or two ability scores to increase. I'm going to yeah. pick Dex. It's at 18. There we go. Yeah, one to... So if you pick one, it's plus two. If you pick two, mm -hmm. it's plus one. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, and that's all the stuff I've got. Oh, I didn't put extra attack on here. Boop. Not that it matters, but I'm going to want that extra attack. He used the sickle. Mm -hmm. He said poop. <laughs> <laughs> I booped it. Boop. Uh, bar Barbarian. Barbarian. Uh, did I put fast movement in here too? I did. Okay, I just apparently missed extra attack, which is way more important. <laughs> uh, cool. Uh, that's it for me because I did everything else already and already got my gear. Uh, and already did my background. Cool. Oh, wait, so my current... I gotta do my hit points, I guess, right? Well, no. You rolled what was my con points. previously? It was the same, right? Um, Until your con start. should be 16. AC, correct? What was that, Dusa? Is your AC correct? Uh, no, because it's not taking into account unarmored, I think. Yeah, that was... Uh, because that'll be 17, uh, plus the shield, so it's 19. Yeah. wonder if there's a checkbox for that somewhere. Or if you have the chest... Uh, it might, there might be. I'm just going to manually do it. Screw it. Uh, so, does this work hit points wise? I think it does. What did this look like previously? Someone pull up the video from yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> someone watch the VOD! I watched it earlier. Can um, someone actually pull it up real quick? I don't want to have it playing in the background. <laughs> oh, my con is the same. Thanks, Bob. Appreciate it, bud. My con is the same, so my hit points are the same. So I have 60 flat hit points. Woohoo! Fuck yeah. Tanky boy. Thank you, Bob. Also welcome. You better keep um, your attention off of me. Thank you, Bob. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sorry. I was I was staring at my character sheet. I'm sorry. Cool. Mm -hmm. All right. So there we go. A barbarian, half-elf, entertainer with, uh, even though he's, prof he's proficient in strength saving throws, but has way more decks. Perfect. We finished just in time for the DM to ask us for our character sheets and names. <laughs> cool. I don't have a name yet. Oh no! Oh, I don't no. have a name yet either. Oh no! Oh no! Isn't it Grundle Snatch? Oh no! No Isn't no it no! Grundle Snatch. Yeah, your last Damn name it, is Rob. Oh no! Damn also, it, Rob. Also, quick. Um, on my character sheet, I have healing work twice somehow. Yeah, I know. I I tried to fix it. I just said screw it. Okay. You just can just hit the, if out. you just hit the lock, you can just delete it. It's going to use the same spell slot. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Durian. I was just I was just curious if what if that was meant to be there or not. Um uh, ends up foul. My AC is really 13. Can't go Grundle Snatch. Tanko. Oh god, I hate Rob for this. <laughs> You don't have to have the same name if you have Grundle Snatch it is <laughs> Rob, are you in here? I swear to god. I don't think he is. He's had no, he's, he's worth it here. He's he's, lur he's lurking, oh he's just god. lurking. <laughs> uh what do oh I want god. to name? Do we really have to have names right now? Is that a fact? Did you need names right now? Yeah, he said it'd be nice. Okay. <laughs> Fine. I, I guess Rob is gonna be a Bork Grundle Snatch. <laughs> Bork. Uh, uh, hold on. This is how I always do all my names because I'm indecisive as fuck. So I go to name generators. Name and, uh, name and what? Class. Yeah. Did he say name class? Sorry. He said. Kimo, what did he need? Yeah. Uh, hang on. What did you ask for? DM. <laughs> what did you ask for? I, I... 
Okay, characters, names, race, and class. Okay, Name, cool. Okay. All right, we'll we'll put that. We'll have to just put that in the Discord, guys. It's a lot yeah. easier to read. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yep. Name, racing, class. He, he All right, I gotta figure out a name. To it. Here we go, boys. I'm heading over to the. Uh, I think the random name generator. That's what I I'm doing the, right now. <laughs> prof, though, I think your middle name should be Mr. Fancy Pants. In quotations. No, that's like my alias, yeah. right? So yeah. Alias. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's like, hey, don't hate. Don't like hate. I'm, Appreciate. I'm Lenore Black Arrow Ray Farron. Ooh. Mm. I love it. I love it. Male. Uh, half elf. Uh, adventurer, obviously. What is the culture? I like this. Probably like German. This. Vino. Snaldo. Engsgolf. Foster Bledsoe. I really like that name. Arid. Waldo. Waldo? <laughs> You're Waldo? No. I was gonna say. I can be like, I guess we, we can't found find you. you. <laughs> <laughs> Go Norse. Maybe a Norse name. Norse is good. I approve. I like Norse too. It's it Yeah. I should also No, no, let it no. I'm gonna change my age. I'm gonna say I'm twenty seven. There we go. Waldo McSwiggin's bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Waldo McSwiggin's bottom. I should just put McSwiggins in here somewhere just for Rob and just do it. He won't even know about it. Just do the middle name. Just yeah, do, just do the middle initial M. Oh, God. <laughs> MS. <laughs> Nickname Swigs. I'm literally, I'm just clicking Swigs. the random like thing. Just looking so through it, them was, it was name, race, and, and class, right? Yeah. That was good dudes and Swigs. I like that. Ankin, I read Ankin, and I was like, Anakin? Uh-oh. <laughs> Annie! Can we call you Annie? I'd never, ha I'd never be able to have the, the high ground. It'd be terrible. <laughs> <laughs> On dear. And then you have be... to be Obi-Wan, so then you always have the high ground. Yeah, clearly. Nah, nah, he'd be Annie, and he can be the Oh, wait. Oh, hang on. I forgot. That was... I, my guy was born to an elvish mom. So, like a Spanish name? Mm, Celtic? Yeah, it's Irish? Celtic. Irish? Gaelic. Yeah. yeah, Gaelic. Do Balmiar. You won't. <laughs> I, I won't. <laughs> Celtic. Kata. I kind of like Kata. I was going to say Kara, but then I remembered you male. <laughs> Atun? Kieran? Kieran is a good name. I like Kieran or... Uh... Remy? Bari? Just go with Miguel. Ronan? <laughs> go wrong with Miguel. <laughs> Mori. Ronan is, is a good one. Kieran. Ronan is cool. Is R-O-N-I-N? Yep. Ronan? Yeah, like, like Guardians Ronan? of the Galaxy, Ronan. Ronin. Sure, why not? All right, Ronin. Easy. Ronin. Uh, we everyone Ronin. needs parent. So here's the deal: everyone needs parentheticals, right? Right. So I have to. My guy has to assume something from the animal totem. So he's he's got. Uh, it, it, I took pack to the wolf, right? So. So your spirit animal is McSwiggin. The the dog. <laughs> it's a Yorkshire Terrier. That's a... It's a Yorkshire Terrier. <laughs> That's your spirit animal. A Clearly. dachshund. A do Clearly a dachshund. Oh my god. Uh, it's the rat dog. The whatever oh. naked the hairless dog is. The hound. Oh yeah, you're the hound now. Well, yeah. probably not. I just need a parenthetical there. 
Uh, Grundle Snatch. <laughs> Grundle Snatch. I love it. Hey, that does I... sound like a bounty hunter name, though, with the snatch at the end. I don't know. Seems we like... snatch your grundles! <laughs> Hold on to your grundles, boys! That's the trophy. That's the, the Grundle Snatch Brothers are on the case. <laughs> you guys are you gonna do a voice for your character? Hell yeah! Yeah. If you're not doing a voice, you're out. Get. Well, I'm okay. gonna change my character. <laughs> what I if I show up in a cloak <laughs> and full war paint? Yeah, that's fine. Do that. <laughs> I need to get an ASMR mic in order to play my character. <laughs> you can you can do it with the mic that you have. It's fine. Just get All on right, then. there. All I'm right. Just get on so there. That proximity is, uh... effect is uh, real nice. <laughs> uh... <laughs> and then, well, so all you have to do, you have to, so you know, you have the multiple settings, right? So you, you have to put it on like the 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 three sixty, or like the double oh, side. Yeah, I can. And yeah. then you can just start walking. You go in stereo, and you get around the backside. <laughs> like, just like you go from one side to the other. That's how my songs that's, work. <laughs> that's how you do it. Is that how you put people to sleep? <laughs> hey. Yes. ASMR, Mike. <laughs> you just whisper to them. No, yes. I actually uh, take your shovel and whack them across the face with it. That's how I put to sleep. No, no, that's that's the best way to do it, really. So I hope you let me borrow your shovel a lot, because otherwise I can't do it. <laughs> I smack them over the head and they go to sleep. It's the great spell. It works every <laughs> time. Look, guys, I did magic. Oh <laughs> Just my like God. I'm, there's blood like spewing out from the point of the shovel. <laughs> I'm liking these items our DM is offering me. Oh, oh. do we get a list? <gasps> Ew. What's a wee barian, Bob? <laughs> a wee An anime <laughs> barbarian. That's what I'm gonna guess. A wee barian. <laughs> <laughs> oh my or god. Or tiny barian. Tiny barian. It's like he's like a wee lad. Oh, okay, I get it. It's not a dwarf. It doesn't. He's not Scottish. Yeah. Hey man, my dwarf from the game was was Russian sounding ish. <laughs> yeah. I can't do voices. Yeah. I mean, I guess I can do a French practice. accent because yes. uh, my first language is French. But that do, do that. Put it on <laughs> thick and let's have a fun time. When you speak Eloise, just speak French. Same thing. Clash yeah. Yeah. See, we'll have no idea what's going on. It'll be. Perfect. I know how to speak Elvish. So. Technically, I know Elvish, and I'm like, uh. Mm, uh I'll just translate for you. Infernal, I'll just speak German. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. You go. It is the most infernal of languages. Um. Uh, <laughs> I'll speak Americanish. Uh. Simplified English. All right, guys. I need a parenthetical. What is what is my guy? Swig. Right, he's, he was a former former bounty hunter, storyteller. Uh, diffuses any amount of of tension in a situation. Uh, so a friendly guy. Uh, when he perform or take a job, try to make the world a better place. My brother is the most important thing in my life. The heart. I don't know. A scandal prevents me from ever going home. Uh, and then down at the bottom, your dad seduced a noble elf lady, and you, lady, and you were born out of wedlock. The negotiator? Oh, I don't know. I don't that. know. <laughs> I'm I a barbarian as well. And yeah, so and I don't with think the totem like... spirit, I have to like take something from from like you get like attributes of whatever your totem was. The alpha. Oh. I would, yeah, you think so? Yeah, that's cool. You, 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 I think I'm just you leave it as alpha. Leader. Being a back leader. I do have pack tactics, which is there you awesome. Go. There you go. I give everyone pack tactics. That's good. We have That's a lot good. of like teamwork based. Hell stuff. yeah. This is what happens when you do character creation in with five. everyone at the same time. Session zero. That's what it's yeah. for. I'm level five. Okay, dude. cool. All, all right. Cool it's stuff. Ronin the Alpha Grundle Snatch. Cool. I like it. <laughs> Thanks, Rob. Done. Thanks, Rob. Jesus Christ. Wherever I'm you the are. Fucking Grundle Snatch. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, cool. Awesome. Cool. Uh, I think I think that wraps it up, to be mm -hmm. honest. Yeah, if you just uh, oh, wait. Lot. What was the... He, he put items in? Um, I'm not sure. Oh, Jeez, here's I'm... the options for, for your item. Uh, so I can give out items. Oh, okay. 
if you just want one thing, you can check my the uh, traits and such because we didn't go those through yet. How do we not? Yeah, I just. It should be fine. Think. Hang on a sec. Uh, half elf. Oh, whoops. I should probably put my name, huh? Ronin Grundle Snatch. Hell yeah. Rob's got to put his name in too. Rob died somewhere. Yeah, he's he's doing something. It says he's playing Fortnite on on Discord. Probably is. It's a fun game. Uh okay, cool. So, I, I, you know what? We can wait on on the item. So, so Dozen, you said you wanted to take a look at it's just a quick look at the uh, the traits and such. Thing. Okay, you just want me to read through them real quick? Yeah, if you see anything wrong with that, same with Kima. Since sure, she's I mean. Uh, link uh, always DM. calm, no matter the situation. Never raise my voice or let emotions control me. Often get lost in my own thoughts and contemplations, becoming oblivious to my surroundings. That's good. Works with a lot of what we've got going on. Uh, knowledge, the path to power and self-improvement is through knowledge. Yup. Hold my soul for knowledge and power. Hope to find a way to get it back. Also makes sense. Scandal prevents me from ever going home again. Hey, man, that sounds really similar. That kind of trouble seems to follow me around. Most people scream and run when they see a demon. I stop and take notes on the anatomy. <laughs> cool. I dig it, man. Yeah, no, I like it. It all makes sense. Yeah. I'm, I, I, I'm interested to see the, the pact of the blade uh, in, in action. Mm -hmm. For sure. I feel like you'll be our... Our moral we, compass, where can, we're all can we do Hedric? Uh, the guy uh, or, demon. <laughs> can we do Hydric? Uh, Hedric. quotation marks, Indy for Indiana Jones. <laughs> Exit quotation marks because you use a whip. Is that can we? No, can we, can we no. settle on that? I mean, can I'm you, down. Can you make your weapon a cool fedora? <laughs> it only works with weapons, sadly. <laughs> I know, but that'd be so cool. Foster, here's your options. Foster Bledsoe, the human bard. You may pick a tambourine of absolute unit. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. It's an absolute unit. <laughs> yeah. Pearl of Restoration. That's actually really nice. Ooh. Yes. Healing Word can be cast. Wow. One charge, and you get four charges. Oh shit, son! That's free healing words. You can just yep. dish those bad boys free out. Free healing. <laughs> the tormented. We are just. We are driving home the edginess. Let's do it, bud. I love it. Uh, I I really want you eventually wow. to ask Lenore for the black paint, just because obviously <laughs> you are going to. You like paint your nails black or something. It's just. It's happening. No, no. Happening. The, the fiend wants to do that, mm. not the guy. <laughs> when I'm bored, I just paint his nails. That's yeah. That's, that's how you guys bond. Yeah. So Joel, it's our bonding think of this. <laughs> with the tambourine. With the tambourine. With the tambourine, if you're within 30 feet, you or Rob are in 30 feet of me. Not only do you get extra attack, but uh, the extra attack, but you also get an extra action. From what I'm reading on that. So yeah, we, we'd get another action. So we'd be able to take. Yeah. So if you gave it to Rob, he'd get five attacks in one. Oh turn. my god, that's that's kind of cool. That's kind of ridiculous. Yeah, I like it though. Uh, <laughs> and I think he'd be all for that. But As we don't action. have a healer, so that pearl's looking. Yeah, like that's the thing. I think that the healing is probably gonna. This is, I like I like this choice option here because like, what are you gonna like? What are you gonna do? It's like I can do either offense or I could do like utility. Really, utility? Yeah. Yeah. Well, okay, so what was... All right, so so Our the Juicing. Warlock, yeah. Smooth Criminals, boots require attunement, a pair of beautifully made black leather boots with light laces and polished grommets, move an additional 10 feet. Movement doesn't provoke opportunity attacks. Oh. Or the Calamari Belt. Tough belt of dubious origin and tentacles. smell. Once per day, the wearer can cast Everard's Black Tentacles. I posted right, that now... in chat for you guys following in. Oh, did you? Okay. Yep. Cool. I gotta read Everett's black Prince tentacles here. Especially for someone as squishy as me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you go ahead and can you put the ones for for uh, Professor in there for as well? Foster, while, yeah. While I take a look at the uh, spells. So those were uh, Dozen's options. These are. Um... 
Fisher's. Professor Sacky. Yes. Yeah, you could just the say hacky, the, the hacky sack. So wait, this one's called what was it? The Foster tentacles? Bledsoe, the human bird. Everett's black Damn tentacles. Girl. Pearl's gonna be really Here, good. I'm gonna put this Four up on charges, stream. And I get extra guys. healing. That's that's dope. So Everett's black tentacles is a range of ninety feet. Squirming ebony tentacles fill a 20-foot square in the ground that you can see within range. For the duration, these tentacles turn the ground in the area into difficult terrain. Cool. When a creature enters the affected area for the first time on a turn or starts the turn there, must succeed a dex throw or take 3d6 bludgeoning and is restrained until the spell ends. Oh, here are my options. Mm -hmm. Why we we restrain until the spell ends too? Really nice. Oh, jeez. All right, yeah, go ahead and put that in chat, and I'll read them out, too. Give me a give me a fat copy-paste in there. Just did. Cool. I think my chat broke, by the way. Yeah, my chat broke. All right. I'm did, I break it? did I no, break it? Did I break it? No, it's mine. Mine's been broken. Have it's you not fine. been able to see anything? Yeah, that so, advert. Think... The Black Tentacles is a fourth-level spell. That That's a great freaking awesome. Oh, okay. The the elf one short bow rather than your long bow. A short but thick bodied bow with a blotched camo coating. Plus two to hit the first shot. On hit, the target is marked. Each subsequent shot doesn't get the plus two, but doesn't require line of sight. <laughs> what? That's amazing. Min max range rules apply, and narrow narrow corridors less than ten feet will prevent shot. Unless I, I assume less than line without line of sight. When the target dies, the mark ends. So you hit it with something, and then you can just turn around behind like a pillar and just unleash like hail of. It's wow. Target designator. It's uh. Yeah, it's target designator. That's cool. Wow. Well, Heat seeking cloak. arrows. Uh, the yeah, the Endor cloak, a long cloak woven with olive green and gray camouflage, plus two to stealth. Unless checks are made in wood forested areas, then the checks are made with advantage. Is it is it made wow. from? What the heck are those things called? The sand, the sand people? No, the uh, little teddy bear people. Oh, okay. Bob says it, the text might have been too long. We might have to break it up into multiple. Oh, things. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry. Uh, sorry, guys. That's oh, okay. It's okay. These are really cool. I'm like, I'm like pretty excited to see what my options are. Yeah. At whatever Look point at that happens. Something to pick your teeth with. Do you have the options for something to wipe um, your ass. the barbarian? <laughs> oh no. Oh, he does, he does. Oh no. <laughs> uh, the great term of die fall. Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I think that'll still always be my favorite mod in uh in Dark Ball. spinning the wheel of death oh yeah that was so good <laughs> so yes good. uh so it's the options for ronin <laughs> there are two yes he he is not here currently but you can post that in the chat and he can do both if he's got him there yeah if you can do both i'll just have to let rob know i'm sure yeah he, i mean he's in the Discord. uh he, ronin, yeah, ronin Whether he checks it is another so story that first yeah, Ronan and Bork. Ronan and Bork. <laughs> Grundle Snatch. Um, yes. I don't know the mothers like must have up. named the son. I can't hear what he's saying. Okay, so. come here, here. <laughs> okay. <good. laughs> Oh, you get four items, but you guys can swap because you're brothers and you're tight. That's awesome! I love it. <laughs> That's so cool. That's really cool. Okay. Okay. This is why, like, Rob, get your ass in here. <laughs> God has to, spoken. Quit playing Fortnite. God has <laughs> spoken. Become D and D, damn it. Cool. Okay. Just invite uh, me to call. <laughs> be honest, we're like we're thirty minutes over my normal stream time, right. and I gotta go to bed because I'm a tired boy, and I'm gonna go back and to kill myself at work tomorrow morning. Oh, don't so, do that. Sorry. Um, no, it's okay. This is a lot of fun. I'm glad we got to do it. I'm glad I put together the four things in it. We wait a little bit of extra time to, to make that happen. So uh, thank you guys for, for joining us today. 
on the character creation for the uh I what 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 was the name? It was an adventure for for five people or something. For, like that. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It was it was Friday the the 29th. Friday the 29th one shot an adventure for five people as uh, as this is going to be known. Uh it begins at 7 p.m. <gasps> Eastern Standard Time. Are you okay? Yep. The lamp just went, but I'm fine. Bye, lamp. <laughs> um so that's when that'll start. Uh, so that's that's good, and I hope I hope we can see you all there because this is gonna get real nutty, and I can't <laughs> oh, wait. Yeah. So names like those, cool. of course. <laughs> and uh, just just like last time, uh, Grundle Snatch out <laughs> later, guys. 